Blackbusters. Family, what's cracking with it, man? I'm back. We're back. All of us are back. Welcome to another episode of Blackbusters, the best movie review podcast in the world. In the world, Craig. In the world, Craig. Y'all see them. Y'all see who's here. All right. Let me just start hmm. with just the, the least important person here. <laughs> and I'm your host, Big Ja, mm -hmm. along with my co-host, the more important person here. Uh, give it up for Mr. Tony Watson. Tony <laughs> Watson. That boy good. Yeah. That boy yes. good. Yeah. He must be crazy. <laughs> Tony Watson, man. Tony Watson. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I love that one. Good yes, and terrible. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> good and terrible. <laughs> good and terrible. <laughs> yeah, he good. He must be crazy. Um, <laughs> and y'all have seen him before, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all know my brother's here in the building again. And I had to uh, have him come for this one pause uh for this particular episode man uh before we get to the episode let me introduce my brother the illustrious talented mm -hmm. the genius mm -hmm. ken edwin thank you yes thank you yes ken edwin put the we got to put the yeah, yeah. 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 the nemesis returns yeah. the <laughs> nemesis <laughs> he's been getting stronger we'll, man we'll, we'll argue against uh, on something yeah. today yeah. Yeah. we'll figure it out yeah but thank you for having me um this is a beautiful setup again yeah and uh, congratulations. Oh, this is 50. This is 50, a.k.a. A. Ferrari. It's 50. This mm -hmm. is the 50th episode of Blackbusters. We are very close to a year, bro. Man, Man this Man. is, a, this is a, a, a milestone for us. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been going strong, bro. Brother Tone, How, Tony Watson. Like, like, what are your thoughts from, from 1 to 50? Bruh. Like, um, are, how has the show evolved? How have you evolved? I feel think? like um, this show. I love the show. I've always been excited about the show since since us talking about it. Mm -hmm. um, and then we do an episode, another one, another one. And now I'm like, bruh, I'm, I'm 50, 50 episodes in. I'm so confident that this this is going to be a, a a podcast for a long time. Yeah, uh, I, I feel like people are, are tapping in, are getting involved, are enjoying the podcast. Uh, I feel like it's growing organically. I'm mm -hmm. confident about that. I love, I love you as a co-host, brother, mm -hmm. and as a man. Thank you, brother. You know what I'm saying? Pause indeed. But, oh, it's, yeah, yeah. but, but it's still there. It's Definitely. love, always. Appreciate it. Um, but yeah, bro, this is dope, man. Yeah. I'm happy to, to be celebrating our 50th with my brothers. Yeah. Man. Yes, Thank sir. You. Thank you for, I mean, that's that's Come amazing. on, man. Just to have me here for the 50th. Yeah, man. For, for, for one, this is our 50th episode. And once I tell you guys what we're, uh, I, you if you guys are good, you guys can kind of know what we're doing know. Yeah. by uh, Brother Tony Watson's <laughs> name. Um, this is a, a monumental film, a, a traditional, a, a, a tradition, a, 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 what's it, a, a heirloom mm -hmm. in black culture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, a lesson in love. A lesson in love huh? and everything. This film gives you everything. That's yeah. it. And I, I had to bring you back for this episode um, because I need someone that can relate to this film. Uh, you and I are currently writing a, a project mm -hmm. and uh, it's just, and it's hilarious. Yeah. And this movie is just a, the blueprint it's of how to tell a dope ass story. Mm -hmm. Make have it romantic, have it funny, have mm -hmm. it hilarious. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't think there's any any unfunny episode uh, scenes in this film. Mm -hmm. This movie, if you're talking about the Black Excellence Time Capsule, mm -hmm. you, you you know Whitney Houston's uh, Star Spangled Banner, yes. Marvin Gaye's Star mm -hmm. Spangled Banner. You yes. put that in there. Mm -hmm. Vince mm -hmm. Carter's 2000 Dunk Contest. Yes. You put yeah. it in there. Point Stevie up. Wonder's Song in the Key of Life. You put mm -hmm. that in. You yeah. put this yes. movie in. Yes. Yeah. You send this to the aliens. You uh -huh. want to when you want to tell them <laughs> right. what black, black excellence yes. is. Yes, this is this is it. Yeah. Yes, this and is we it. Haven't told you guys what the movie is yet, but we, I think we've done a good job of 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 <laughs> hyping it up. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I think you guys will agree that this is one of the best comedies of all time, in my opinion, mm -hmm. and I'm sure in yours as well. And that is coming to America. Yes. We had to do it. Yeah. Burr, burr, burr. Burr, burr, burr. Yes. Coming to America, man. Um beautiful film. Yeah. Uh it ages, in my opinion, perfectly. Cause I feel like if this movie how long? 
we'll get to that in a minute because we basically did come out again. No, it didn't. Mm-hmm. It did. I, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, we did. like to forget about. So let me spe- <laughs> let me specify <laughs> coming to America one. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, classic, instant classic. I feel like it was an instant classic as a kid. Mm-hmm. I watched it as a boy. Mm-hmm. I was seven. And uh, I didn't even know what a classic was back then, but I remember yeah. disliking it from the opening scenes. The 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 series of opening scenes had yes. me like, what am I looking at? Yes. This is great. Yeah, yes. uh, I cannot but, uh, wait to be grown. Yeah. I can't wait to be grown. I can't wait <laughs> to be a prince. I can't wait to take baths. Man, <laughs> you would not know how long my <laughs> ducktail was, bro. Yeah. Pause. Yeah, man. Yeah. And I had one. Then <laughs> legit so I was like, ducktail. Oh, ducktail. Uh, I got one. Yeah. It wasn't that long. I let mean, mine get so long. It didn't get as long as this one. Um, I never got it that long, but it got long. Pause. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, man, coming to America, uh, starring, directed by John Landis, written mm-hmm. by Eddie Murphy, David Sheffield, Barry W. Bluestein. Correction, Blaustein. Uh, the stars are Eddie Murphy, mm-hmm. Paul Bates, Garcia Bouvet, and his they they got her name in there because of the, probably the Jamie Foxx show. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But uh, bless her heart, she was a uh, she was one of the Flower Girls. Of one of the Flower Girls. Yeah, it, why are you um, saying like, this order of names is crazy to me? It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> He's just going down the list. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think they just threw that together. No one changed it. Um, Arsenio. But Arsenio Hall. Mm-hmm. Uh, James we, Earl Jones. James Earl Jones. John uh, Amos. John, John Amos. Amos. Mm. Like that alone. Yeah. It lets you know it's great. Eric LaSalle. Eric Frankie LaSalle. You know yes, I mean? yes. Lisa Lisa McDowell. Lisa McDowell. Come on now. now you Come Lisa on McDowell. Now. That's not her name. Uh, her name is not... Lisa McDowell to me forever. Right. Lisa <laughs> McDowell. No matter what she does, Lisa yes. McDowell. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but... I forget what her name is. Sam Jackson. Yeah. Sam Sam Jackson. Uh-huh. Anthony, uh huh. what was it? Louis Louis, Louis, Louis Anderson. Anderson. Louis Anderson. You know what I'm yeah. Saying? I'm it's... working on the fry. Vanessa Bell Calloway. Yeah. Mm. Oh, come on, man. Yeah. Come on, bro. It's 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 so many uh Cuba Gooding Jr. Yes, yeah. Get Cuba the cut. just sitting in the get chair. The cut. Just yes. sitting in the chair. Happy yes, happy man. to get that nappy yeah. fro cut. Yeah, oh boy, it was a nappy one. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, man. This film is is great. It's it's part of my childhood. I'm sure it's a part of yours too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um you don't even have to grow up with a kid to mm-hmm. know if he's black, chances are one of his favorite films was Eddie Murphy's yeah. Coming to America. Like if I met a black person over 30 mm-hmm. that had never seen this movie like I'm calling the cops this is an agent this is yeah. a Manchurian candidate up in <laughs> yeah. here right like you know like I would clone. I would side eye any person uh-huh. black at a certain age that has not seen this movie right. like, like society age. has failed you we have failed you as a people I, I put like this let's say you're 17 and I'm like man who's Parents your people shown it to you. Yeah. who's your people my boy yeah. my boy uh, my boy Lee man um He'll literally show me videos of, he'll say, we have a group chat, me and all the homies from high school, mm-hmm. and um, he'll show me videos of his son and daughter at the time when they had one, way back when, now he has five. Yeah. But he has he had one, and he would show his son, Dez, watching Martin, watching mm-hmm. Coming to America. He's three. He's yeah. sitting there. Putting him up on it. Watching it. Yeah. And when he's singing, she's your queen. He's singing, she's your queen. <laughs> he's just little kid singing, little little toddler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's he's put up on games. Right so now, right a passage, man. The, the, now his son is fourteen, mm-hmm. and now his son watches it like in this room, just, yeah. just throwing it on. So yeah. yeah, we can't we can't throw too much of a pass to a youngster under thirty. I get what you're saying though. If mm-hmm. you want to have, you want to give him grace. But man, nah, bro. You my this is one of those are, black card things. Come on, right? Like you know, like S- like sit down. Having, yeah. having seen this is a requirement. For possession of a black yes. card. Mm-hmm. You yes. need to, you it's right. impossible. This mm-hmm. movie for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This movie for sure. This movie, um, we'll throw a few more in there too. I'll throw yeah. one more this and then we can move on if y'all want to. Life. <laughs> you gotta watch life. Mm-hmm. You gotta watch life. Um yeah. we haven't done life yet, but we I mean, will I, do life. I feel like all those Eddie Murphy movies you gotta watch. Come on. Yeah. Come on, man. You gotta watch life. You gotta you gotta watch Harlem Nights. Gotta watch Harlem Nights. You gotta, you you know gotta watch Trading Places. Yeah. You gotta watch tra- but you gotta <laughs> but you gotta have this one on the but list. But you gotta have this one. Like yeah. somebody yeah. that Hasn't seen Trading Places, but has seen Coming to America. Stalled I'm out. still cool with. It. Yeah, right. <laughs> but That's fine. You know, yeah, but, fine. but yeah. as long as this is on yeah. the list, right, right, yeah. right. Like somebody that hasn't seen Life but has seen this, I'm like, you know. That's a little suspect, but even still, yeah. like mm-hmm. as long as you see as long coming, as to coming to America, now, what but happens if you, if you see Life but you haven't seen Coming to America? If you haven't, if you ah. haven't seen, if you haven't seen this and Harlem Nights, yeah. I'm, I, I might think, be like, I think okay. They're, mm-hmm. I think they're a tandem. Yeah, me. You have you, to watch it, the Holy Trilogy for me is mm-hmm. 
uh, our Holy Trinity, both uh, is you got Coming to America, uh-huh. Harlem Nights, and Boomerang. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those are my three yes. you got to yeah. see yeah. Out, of, yeah. out, of, out of Eddie. You got to see yeah. them all. Not yeah. all. Because not it, it was just a moment. Yeah. Right, yeah, came out around the same time. Yeah, like, that's when he. That's when he was. I mean, he was moving on all cylinders, bro. He was. Look hey, at this run. He was killing the game. Look at this ten year run. Yeah, forty eight hours. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. Trading places. Mm-hmm. Beverly Hills Cop. Mm-hmm. Golden Child. I Beverly want the Hills knife. Cop Two. Mm-hmm. Coming to America. Harlem Nights. Another forty eight hours. Boomerang. Come on, bro. Right? Yes. Vampire in Brooklyn. Vampire in Brooklyn. <laughs> Vampire in Brooklyn. Nutty <laughs> Professor. Right? On, like, you know. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Dr. Doolittle. Damn, that's a run. I mean, you can that's, keep going. You can keep going. <laughs> right? I love both both I love them. <laughs> both fingers. <laughs> one of my guilty pleasures. <laughs> <lectures. laughs> I love a Guilty both. pleasure for sure. Yeah. 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 Both fingers. Yeah. Watch that shit tonight. Uh, Hilarious. But yeah, man. Like, mm-hmm. like. And so, when I rewatched this, this, this movie this last time. I didn't watch for the jokes because I know the jokes. Right. I've seen this movie a hundred times. Yeah. Literally. Right. Like I almost know the movie verbatim. Right. Mm-hmm. So I purposely tried to watch this movie for performances mm-hmm. and for spectacle. Yeah. What it was giving me. Yeah. And mm-hmm. watching it from that lens was amazing. Mm-hmm. Like just the shots and the set mm-hmm. and yeah. and the way Zamunda looked. Mm-hmm. And then from a performance standpoint, there's like to me. This movie is perfect. Like every scene lasts as long as it needs to, mm-hmm. right? Like you know, yes. every performance is just as crips. Right. There's no throwaway moments. No, in this, Not at all. No and watching it from a performance standpoint, like Eddie blew me away. It's yes. one thing I think to be entertained by Eddie. It's another thing to watch w- like what he's doing. Right. And this time I watched it for what he was doing, the nuances in every character, right. how he was always princely. Mm-hmm. Right, yes. like he was always princely, but how he tried to mask it, you know mm-hmm. what I mean, and, and uh-huh. camouflage it, yeah. right? You know when and he was wasn't doing he, a good job, wasn't Terrible doing a good job, job <laughs> you know what I mean. But like it was, it was very interesting how how he would how he would change slightly when he was addressing Simi mm-hmm. yeah. versus when he was addressing it, you know right. anyone else. Yeah. Just little subtle yeah, shit, yeah. man. That just. Was man, blowing me I, away when that when that milkshake hit him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was laughing. He looked. He said, "Bro, you yeah. forgot your place." Yeah. Like, oh, I'm shit. not the one you. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm not the one you laugh at, bro. You know that. Come on. I've out. been stalling you out this whole trip. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, hey, hey, Simi got slippery with the tongue. Yeah. Paul. He said he yeah. started. He started voicing his opinion yeah. way too much. Yeah. yeah. And complaining. You luck oh, you, my, you luck you, my homie. Yeah, yeah. And you lucky. Just, I'm trying to get this this right. this yeah. piece right now. Yeah, but uh, I'm distracted. Yeah, I'm right. distracted. Yeah, Hakeem was a, uh, was the, definitely yeah. distracted, and Semi was over there, man, yeah. doing the most, struggling, struggling. 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 Now uh, that's hilarious. How you know you royalty when your your uh, your servant is royalty? <laughs> yeah, your servant ain't used to working. <laughs> He was like, That's so fucking he was funny like, job. whoa, yeah, what? work, yeah. mopping, cleaning, <laughs> yeah. washing windows. Yeah. What are you talking about? Simi, I'm Simi, Simi, I'm was, Simi was disgusted the whole movie. <laughs> like, yeah. like um, was, I'm in dire need of a manicure. He was upset and yeah. disgusted the entire film <laughs> until they, until they yeah. got that in in apartment jacuzzi. Yeah, yes. yes. jacuzzi, jacuzzi. Yeah. yeah, yeah, man. So funny. He was in there kicking it. Yeah. Tough. So, 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 where do we start with this? Movie? I know, man. We we, we already we dove, dived in. So, you know, people who know this, I mean. Uh, coming to America, a young uh, African prince from Zamunda, Hakim. Hakim. Mm-hmm. Um, he is uh, 21. He just turned 21. It's today and is my birthday. Today is my birthday. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, and he is, he's you know, like a lot of uh, African uh, cultures, uh, they have arranged marriages. Mm-hmm. He's, a, he's a prince. Soon to be a king, um, and he has to marry a princess from another tribe, mm-hmm. another village. And so Vanessa Bell Calloway plays the the princess that he's going to marry. He's never even seen her before. Yeah. Right. Right. So he may, he's going to meet her on their wedding day. Mm-hmm. You know, coldest introduction in movie before history. Before coldest their wedding introduction. Day. Before the wedding. Day. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was it was the night before. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Um. But but the the choreographed. Da- that shit yeah. was amazing. The tribal dance. Yes. It was yes. amazing. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So. And who thought of that at the time? And why don't we have those type of things still? Yeah. Like, hmm. that was a, how long was that dance routine? It was, a, it was about eight it minutes. Wasn't, it wasn't that long. I felt it was like maybe three to five. I mean, it was, it was long enough. You said it wasn't yeah. that long, but it wasn't that long. I'm t- it was I mean, like, 
It was a. They had. They, they did dance. They, they had about yeah. sixty yeah. people. <laughs> yeah. yeah, going to work. Yeah, it was like a whole little step team parade. They were yeah. doing African. Mm-hmm. It was. It was killing. It, it was great. I uh, had niggas flying through the air and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing f- <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and so he, he, he loves his family. He loves mm-hmm. his life. Um, but one thing that he kind of drew the line on is love. And he, he, his father, King uh, Joffrey Joffer, mm-hmm. uh. He um arranged his marriage. Mm-hmm. His his princess to be for his son. His mm-hmm. prince son was a beautiful woman. Right. That was that was willing and able and ready to do whatever it is you like and, and, whatever and submit you like. submit and give him everything and anything he needed. Yes. And that's and she was bad. Mm, bad. Isabel yeah. Calloway was crazy. Bad. What's your favorite oh. food? Whatever food, <laughs> food you like. like. <laughs> no. Well, before you met me, what, what favorite food do you? Whatever, whatever food it is you like. You like. You know what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> So and he realized <laughs> bark like a dog. He arf, 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 a big arf. dog. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> Hop on one foot, foot. <laughs> like a man. Train. And she did it. Like a... Yeah, yeah, bro. Oh, it's so great. <laughs> and so he, he wait. Go ahead. Then, it's, <laughs> then the king comes in. You guys, yes, you guys, you guys are getting yes, along great. Right. Getting along great. <laughs> now, that's what's there was supposed nothing to odd about that to him. <laughs> that was something. And here's the thing. Question. <laughs> that's the norm for them. Mm-hmm. I don't rem- I don't I don't see the queen being like that. Yeah. She might have started like that. Cuz yes. maybe at the beginning when she yeah. was young like Vanessa Bell Calloway's yeah. character is uh but you kind of got to play the game until you get You got to play the game until you have a baby by the dude mm-hmm. and, yeah. and, and, and your queen now you cemented. And now yeah. she probably changed when she became queen. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh cuz now she's like telling the nigga to shut up and all that put a sock in it. Put yeah. a sock in yeah. it. Yeah. Free the boys in but it up. took a while to get there though. Right. Yeah. So Queen Elion. Yes. Yeah. So uh so he Elion. Aeolion. 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 Just like a nigga, bro. Just like a nigga from Queens. Yeah. I'ma I'ma just try to say it the best way I know possible and yeah. make it and act like it's right. Oh. Alien. Alien. Yeah. 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 Okay. Like he, was, he was he was man, I know I know we we jumping ahead. I'm I'ma try to stay on narrative. But like I was laughing because he really thought he was entertaining oh the royalty. Yeah, like he was they offering the cheese. king the pigs of the blake. Yeah. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta understand he was royalty to him. To him. Right, yeah. In right. his world. And in, in his hood world. Dude. Yeah. yeah. Hood dude. He's hood rich. Hood fabulous. Yeah. yeah. He came up and he in his mind was well, sure. I got money too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he offered stealing. He offered he offered the, he offered the king of weed. Pigs in the blanket, pigs in the yeah. blanket, and told her to sit in the lazy boy. Like, 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 like that was gonna be some for shit. Her. Yeah, she had a throne at the crib. Yeah, at the, at the crib. <laughs> the she walks on rose petals everywhere. Yeah, yeah. My, la- my lazy boy is a lion. Yeah. A lion literally comes. Yeah, up exactly. My That's way. hilarious. And you mentioned something. You said, "All right, so real quick, so Hakeem doesn't want to marry this woman. She's mm-hmm. beautiful. She's everything he could have asked for, but she's not what he wants. Mm-hmm. He wants a woman with her own mind, her own strength, her own strong will, mm-hmm. and her own beliefs. And this woman doesn't have any uh, any of those things." Mm-hmm. She just has what he wants, yeah. what she thinks he wants. Right. Mm-hmm. So he he tells his father. His father was like, "Cool. Well, we're gonna we're gonna all right. If you you you're you the prince, it's your birthday, and we're gonna give you uh, sixty I'm give days. You what you want? Was it I thought was thirty? Was it thirty days or sixty days? Thirty days from today. Thirty days to soil your royal oats. To soil your royal Dang, oats. Thirty days to go to Queens and, and, and just have like a little mm-hmm. fest." Just go crazy. Go to New York and have a fest. Yeah. You already going crazy in the bathroom every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah he was in, he had day. about two crazy. or three women under the water yeah. and wash the balls yeah. and all that. The royal penis is clean. That's Your hilarious. Man. Yeah, yeah, man. I, as a kid, I was like, what? I fell yeah. in love right then. Yeah. Man, I said, bro, I can get that done? Yeah. I can have a... No, I got to be royalty. <laughs> um, so his father says, pick any place in the world you want to go for 30 days. You go there, find your bride, and bring her back here and marry her. Because mm-hmm. I, I I love you, son. And, and No, that's not that's not what Pop said. Oh, no, no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. I saw you, that right? Was, that was Sorry. Akeem's plan. Mm-hmm. That was his plan. Yeah, his, his, he yeah. said, go yeah. and get it out to sister. Yeah, go get yeah. smashed. Go smash. You're going to smash. Mm-hmm. You'll right, come back right. and you'll yeah. marry them. Yeah, exactly. Go yeah. do your thing for 30 uh-huh. days. Come yeah. back. You know what I mean? Imani. And marry Imani. Imani, yeah. Um, in my aunt, her name is pretty. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he was supposed to go to Queens. Well, he was supposed to go anywhere, smash, have a smash fest. I love you know how they, saying? I love how back. they got to Queens, right? Like, you know, yeah. you know, that conversation. That's you gotta be well, a where, super where, baller. Where should we choose? Where should, you know, where should we go? LA, you know, LA, LA? We, we, we will let Fick decide. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, the <laughs> right, it was perfect. And they, uh, they, they, and they spin the globe, mm-hmm. yeah, and sh- boom, mm-hmm. Queens, Queens. 
<laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. Um, so they fly to New York, Queens, mm-hmm. New York, and then they uh and they just they don't have a clue what they're doing. Not a clue. They've never Not been a clue. anywhere outside of Zamunda. Yeah. Right? But he's royalty and in his world, as humble as he is, he's still in his, he's still Hakeem. Yeah. And out of water. I'm I'm the I'm the best of everything. Yeah. If I say stop, you stop. If I say go, you go. Yeah. yeah. And so he gets to uh Queens and it's a it's a fish out of water like a fish out yeah, of water like you yeah. said, and he, he just doesn't know what to do. He just needs to find his bride. Yeah, yeah. So he goes to the barber shop. Oh, for, oh, oh we, we're not going to talk about every single thing that happens. Right, right, right. I mean, they get jacked <laughs> yeah. ASAP. As soon as they ASAP. get down there, yeah. But they one they they show up with two years worth of luggage. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah. <laughs> they, for thirty days, which is a long time, right? But they show right. up with two but years like, worth of luggage. Big like. Box Louis Vuitton, like gold, like, gold yeah. plated toothbrush, gold plated, gold plated hair, dry, yeah. hair dryers. Yeah. They don't even Dude. use. It don't even look like they use hair dryers. And he's and he is so. When they're walking through the airport, he was like, "Remember, we are poor college students. You know what I mean? <laughs> poor with the whole, college he didn't students. Even with know the train, poor looks like. <laughs> exactly. Yes. They didn't know what poor looks like. Right. <laughs> they left yeah. all that shit on the curb and and, and went to the barbershop. Went through it. Yeah, <laughs> went like heard went. So, and heard something. That's what it was. Uh-huh. You heard black people yelling, yep. Uh-huh. Yep. talking. He was like, "Hmm, huh, let's go see." Man, <laughs> and then that's when things really get dope. Yeah, and you really see the magic and the brilliance of Eddie Murphy, bro. Mm-hmm. Um, that barbershop. Mighty I, started, cuts, I, yeah. I started to say that when you, when you, when you mentioned all the people that were in the movie, I said you should say Eddie Murphy's name like yeah. five times. Eddie yeah. Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Eddie Edward Murphy, Murphy. Mm-hmm. Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Eddie Clarence, Murphy. The, Clarence the Barber is an iconic character. Yes. He's so good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Eddie is so believable mm-hmm. as mm-hmm. as Clarence. And and beyond just the demonstrative stuff. Like, you know, you know, John Lewis, you know what I mean? Besides yeah. all of that, even when they have that like little subtle conversation. <clears throat> Um, where, where you where, find your woman? Exactly where to find mm-hmm. woman. Church, church is good. Yeah. Like he's <laughs> clean girl. Yeah, he's a nice clean girl. Oh, you should go where I'm going right now, right? Like yeah. he's just so good. Like he's like the barbershop was perfect. Yeah, yeah you don't want to, you, you got to get to a, a, a woman's father. Yeah, you get to their father. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can get to them, man. <laughs> yeah. So he started off. He, as soon as he got there, he yeah. was like, "Sir, where can I find the bride? Mm-hmm. Where can I find women? Where can I go?" And go to church, or you should go to this, this community uh, event I'm going to tonight. Mm-hmm. Boom. Mm-hmm. And he's just going there, and it's a beauty pageant. <laughs> yeah. Baddies Ooh. everywhere. Yeah. Yams everywhere on I've, stage. I've never, like, I'm telling you, like, just in life, I had never seen, well, I mean, I went to church, mm-hmm. of course. You know, you, you have your... Uh, uh, your, your your revivals, yeah. Mm-hmm. Where mm-hmm. you go to and all the other churches mm-hmm. get together, and you yeah. see all the other girls from the other churches. Mm-hmm. You're like, Ooh, whoa, yeah. But like this though, mm-hmm. you're talking like all different flavors of of black yeah. deliciousness. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a god. It's like there's a god somewhere. Like <laughs> god, yeah, somewhere. yeah, yeah. Crazy. Uh, and then the, and then the preacher lusting over him. Right. Lusted it over. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Arsenio. Hall. Yeah, Arsenio. Hall. Arsenio. He was in. This is Arsenio. This is before his show, right? This this is probably right got him the show. Got him the show. Yeah. Um, he he was great. Yeah, he was great as Simi. He was great as uh, Riven Brown. Mm-hmm. There's you know the other guy in the barbershop. Yeah, come and, on, and, man. and let's greens. not forget him. <laughs> Eating greens. Eating greens. Him as himself in the club. Yeah, yes. like 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 um, all of those beats in the club yeah. were perfect. I was Joan of Arc in my last life. Yeah, you know what I mean? Bro. The girl that was talking too much. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it, it was. There's no wasted scenes, bro. I'm gonna tear I think, you I apart. Like I'm gonna tear you apart, and your, and friend, your friend too. too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> great spit take. Like Dog. one of the top five spit takes of all time. <laughs> I like those. I like those parts in movies because it, you can tell that they're really trying to make. He's trying to make his homie laugh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like he's really sitting there. Yeah. Yeah, and Eddie Murphy is trying to hold it back. Yeah, like you can <laughs> tell he's sitting there like, <laughs> right, like why y'all got me doing right, this? Right, right, right. And he's sitting there all on him. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he put his arm around him and everything. Hilariosity, man, that's amazing. Um, he gets to Queens and he gets to the, he gets to this uh, fundraiser, um, and he sees all these beautiful women. And Sammy's like, man, all these women look great. Pick one and let's go home. Pick one and let's go. <laughs> Fire. Let's get out of yeah. here, bro. We've yeah. been here for two days. Yeah. yeah. All, this let's, is the best they have to offer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> so real. Dang. <laughs> one and, that's what Simmy's mentality was. Like, like he literally was like, pick one of these and go, like, you, we are royal. 
Think about and think, oh, think yeah. about today, and think about how that's literally how we can like like we digest things. Like if you want to see a fine girl, mm -hmm. you just Instagram. You're yeah. like, oh my yeah. god, I want a her. vixen. Yeah, you go straight IG. to the vixens, and mm -hmm. you're just like, mm, let me mm -hmm. pick this one. Mm -hmm. Boom. It's like a pick it But back. Akeem knew. He knew yeah. that that's not the way to and go. And so coming from, and we saw the, we saw the <clears throat> women that were in Zamunda, bro. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. So I get it why Sammy's like, bro, this is the best I got to offer. Pick one. We got this at the crib, but better. Yeah. We yeah. got homegrown. Yeah. Um, pick a wife and, and get up out of here. But they know who I am. Right. So do they really love me? Mm -hmm. Right. Right. And so he sees Lisa McDowell. Man. And she comes up fully dressed, no bathing suit. Everything no sash, covered. Classy. Everything colored. Yeah. Classy. Uh, covered. Um, yeah. And just. Still see the frame, though. Still see the, still see the yeah. hip hop. You see, you see yeah. the, the, the hip hop. She's you know, gorgeous. The classy and, and he's And he, he's head over heels all first sight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who is she? She's wonderful. Yeah. Um, She's speaking nice. She's sweet. Yeah. Um, And he finds out who she is. And we also. <laughs> Get to meet Daryl for the yes. first time. Ah, <laughs> right. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry. So, so you know, not only do like like a king gets to gets to see Lisa, but we as the audience get get exposed to to Daryl. Daryl and and Daryl is like nineteen eighties black pompous. Yes, you know what I mean. He's got yes. his curl. Yeah, yeah. he's got his height. He's got his yeah. mustache. He got his, yeah, his you know what I mean. Mustache, his was, douchey mustache. Outside of that, I will say that Daryl, who's Eric LaSalle, mm -hmm. is every black woman's dream at that time. Yes, right. <laughs> they made him mm -hmm. the douche. Made him of the douche, douche. like the yeah. guy that's like, I don't want to be with this. Nobody wants to be with this person. Right. But yeah. Everybody wants to be with Eric this person. Yeah. Eric Lasalle and Blair Underwood was the niggas back yeah. then. Yeah, yeah. But that's he fair. was the he was he was. I think he was the first one to to land. Uh, er. A, no, yeah, the deal that they paid him like like twenty million or yeah. He was like the first they one to sign that. They really took him big. off the movie screen and put him on ER. Yeah. He was there for like a decade. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then he yeah. was in this movie and everybody was like, he's in a movie? Mm -hmm. What? Hilarious. Nah, this is Eric LaSalle. Yeah. But uh, it was just like that though, but because right. he wasn't doing a, a lot of movies. It was like, uh, why isn't he in movies? And he's just I in this. I, can't, I, I got a movie with Eric, Eric LaSalle in there that people are going to love. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You really a movie buff. <laughs> mm -hmm. A blackbuster movie buff. A black movie buff. Yeah. Eric LaSalle's the dope ass film as a character. <laughs> Can't wait to 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 launch that one for y'all. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I yeah. actually will say what it is. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, I think you I would think know. I'll see. You probably I, too. I, no, right. I can't think uh -huh. of the title, but but as soon as you it's gonna be like Family Feud. Like as soon as you seen the title, uh -huh. as soon as you say the title, it's all gonna come rushing back. Yeah. Give me an Because there was film. another movie that he was out in. Yeah. And it was and it was these two. It was uh -huh. like basically coming to America and the one that you're talking about. I'm uh -huh. not gonna cheat, but right, uh, right, right, right. I'm with you. Uh huh. Yes, sir. I'm gonna cheat that. Eric LaSalle mm -hmm. was great as Daryl. Yeah. Daryl. Yeah. He mm -hmm. was a good Daryl. Um, and I love the fact that it's 1988. This film is out mm -hmm. and. The Jerry Curl was Jerry in. Mm -hmm. It was the it was and juiciest. You the gotta juiciest have. Of juiciest. And here's the thing: you gotta have a, a Jerry Curl in this film. In any '80s film, a black guy gotta have a curl. A white boy gotta have a mullet. Yeah, yeah. And a black guy gotta have a curl. And he had the curl of curls, bro. The curl of his, all curls. his curl was like the curl that comes on the package. Yes, right. Like you know, right. like like it was healthy, healthy. It was long, yeah, like, luxurious. Yeah, yeah, it was you luxurious. Yeah. And no matter how juicy it was, it didn't get on his shoulders. Yeah, it didn't get on his shoulders. It wasn't a wet curl, right? Like, but like, it was, though. yeah, but it, it was, was a It was, like a, it, was. <laughs> it was more. It was more shine. And damp, yeah, <laughs> yes. shine and you know his curl was shiny and damp. It's so funny. perfect. The best he kind of had, curl. It, it was, it was. His curl was better than the curl in the commercial. Yeah, right. right. Like, like the uh -huh. guy in the commercial had a wet curl. Right. Yes. Right. And like, he had lights and yeah, wet curl. Better. You know how he, like he was in the studio. Yeah. You know how, how like when the when the fast food joints. Um, when they the take the, the the photography of the burger, Be it's the, the best the burger the can ever yeah. look. Lettuce, yeah. right? Like yeah. Right. everything is. Yeah. That's that's Daryl's right. curl. Real quick, uh -huh. like it was Real perfect. Quick. Top five Jerry curls in the eighties. <laughs> Eric Lasalle. Uh huh. Eric Lasalle. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh uh. uh Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders, Deion Sanders had a, had yeah. a great Walter curl. Walter Payton with a great curl. Michael Jackson. 
Michael Jackson had, <laughs> Michael Jackson had yeah, a Michael yeah, Jackson had a did. cold curl. It was a curl, yeah, it's true. Before yeah, he got, got burned up, before he burned up, before, before, before he had to spin yeah. and put yeah. it out. <laughs> my hair, my hair, oh my god, my hair. And he Pepsi literally, commercial. he literally danced that that mm-hmm. fire out of his head. Too. Yes. And if you go back and watch it, he jumped, uh, spun, and then that's fell. That's fantastic. That's funny. And then number five. Let me see number five. Number five. Hmm. Dang, I can't even think of five. I'm just gonna say Carlton. Carlton from Carlton. the Pepsi commercial. From the Pepsi commercial. Yeah. He curl, had a cold curl too. Did, did he have a Jerry curl or was that an S curl? Mm-hmm. He had an S. He had an S. Okay. But Anybody it's still a curl. A curl's a curl. Hey, uh, a curl's a curl. Keenan Ivory Wayne's first take. Um, <laughs> how, uh, Jerry curl. Hollywood <laughs> Shuffle. Jerry yes. Hollywood Shuffle. Hollywood Shuffle. Yes. First take was Dude, a good curl. There it is. Dude, curl. <laughs> Dude, the Jerry curl. Yes. Dude, there it the is. Curl. Yeah. There it is. Take one. There Just that uh-huh. take. The there first is. take. Them five curls. Well, Robert Townsend grabbed the activator. <laughs> yeah. 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 Did, yeah. Did, did it over after that. Yeah. Dried up we quick. We were talking about this. Did you have a curl? You had a curl? You have a curl? <laughs> Did you have one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're talking about that activator. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You got to get your activator right. Yeah. yeah. You know? I didn't, he, well, I didn't do a jerry curl. You, you, but you, know you had a saying? curl. I, had, I used to put gel on my hair. I had, a, I, I had a texturizer. Uh-huh. See, nah, and nah, and he then. Just, he just did what everybody else did back then. Which is just tried to well, chemical try to it say, out. See, uh, he didn't put chemicals in his hair. Yeah. Oh, no, no. I just put a little activator. No, 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 no. I put an S-curl in here. Yeah. S-curl for sure. No, no, no. I say I didn't it wasn't jerry. It wasn't no activator. If you wanted to. I said it was active it was his jail Listen, yeah if you wanted jail. your shit to pop yeah. you had to get the texturizer first he had to, he had to get the, the uh you ever get, you ever get the texturizer the, uh, yeah i got i got I, yeah I, yeah, yeah. Conk was, conk. was good yeah. The conk, that's a perm. Yeah, yeah no, but but, yeah. but the, the, the way you apply long. the texturizer reminded me of the conk. You have it. Right? That 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 white yeah. that white shit. She gotta put gloves ah. on. You know yeah. what I mean? To get it right. Yeah, the best best curls in the game. Those when we saw this curl though. When we caught not only did we see one of the best curls in the game, it came with a theme song. Yeah. Come on now. The Man, music, never been repeated. The music in this movie that yeah, they the made up. The mm-hmm. jingles, man. The things that they made. Mm-hmm. It was creative mm-hmm. genius. Everything that they were doing. Before was, before we get to me, we can't do the uh the S the uh S the, the Jerry Curl song mm-hmm. without doing the um, Queen Oba. Yeah. The uh, Queen, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The the uh the wedding re- not the wedding reception, but like yeah. the, the, the announcement dress rehearsal. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh there's so many moments, there's so many moments in movies. Where it's like, this doesn't make sense that this is in here. Right. Mm-hmm. Why is this in here? Who made this And decision? then you sit there and you listen to it. And at the end, you're like. It had to be done. It had to be. It had to be done. <laughs> I even like like to believe that that might have just <clears throat> happened on set, like in between takes. And somebody, like, like they might have been, you know, waiting for Less. lighting or something like that. Messing around. And he got to singing and it was yeah. like, oh. You're doing that. This has to go in the movie that. now. Got to. Yes. Because, because. What brilliant creative mind would write that in? Wait, right? <laughs> like, you know, I'm but, tripping the, the lyrics, the, though. The lyrics. Mm-hmm. The lyrics. <laughs> yeah. The lyrics are ridiculous, yeah. bro. Desire. Yeah. Free <laughs> your queen to be. Free from infection. Yeah. yeah. A vision <laughs> of perfection. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, yeah, this is African. They're not, yeah. they're not from New York. California that's what don't make. That's what makes it hey, so listen, ridiculous. They saying it's just saying AIDS or yeah. chlamydia or you got uh, STD. They say yeah. free from infection. That's what yeah. makes it free so ridiculous? Free from infection, a vision, a, a perfection, perfection. <laughs> to do whatever His Highness. Desire, but he desires. Yes. Like, come on, Fantastic, come on. who? Man. Like, I'm just saying, who, who wrote that? Yeah, and why? <laughs> Here's the thing. That's why we do the CMB classics, bro. Because like, we got to bring these funny ass songs yeah. back with the yeah. funny the lyrics. I'm very, I'm very influenced by these type of films. By man, this, man. Mm-hmm. so like, this is the this reason. specifically, man. Like, yeah, he made a whole wedding song. Yeah. And it was hilarious. <laughs> and he sung it in falsetto. Yeah. The whole time. It was his desires. Yeah. That's when he dropped it. Yeah. He, he dropped it to, was that baritone? Yeah. Wait, with all the passion in the world. With yes. all the passion in the world. And then when it was done. Stone face. He was done. <laughs> right. Boom. Done. Back, Boom. Back to uh, serving. I don't even know what, what genre the song is. <laughs> <laughs> right, like, like it's what, not. What do you put that? What in? do you? What category? It's is acapella. Yeah, acapella. Acapella soul. soul. 
<laughs> man, because you can't put a beat on that. That'll, yeah. that'll be, you that'll can't be put a beat something that. to find yeah. who wrote those lyrics. Who wrote those right. lyrics. Like, the paper that they wrote the lyrics on. Yes, that should be enshrined. Out of frame that should be. It should be, because people, like, when you look it up. Yeah. Somebody has to go and they have to listen to it and then go, all right, this is what he's saying. This is perfect. How many takes... How I guarantee takes? you niggas laughed. <laughs> yeah. I guarantee to. you he laughed. Uh, how many takes do you think? Is it Opa? Opa. Yeah. Or Oha. 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 Yeah. Oha. Yeah. Oha. Oha. How many takes did he do on that on on that particular scene? Yeah. I'm thinking seven. Man. Maybe at the minimum uh, four. four. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go on a limb here. Okay. One take. One take. With nobody laughing, that he did because it was just on him. I think he was on a closed set. I think, I think it was he just sh- him by himself. No, because they had a couple people <laughs> yeah, behind him. You might be right, but maybe they shot him mm-hmm. with they nobody in there because they're they gonna be everybody else over there. I they just, you, they I'm probably not, watched. I'm breaking. Yeah, if I'm on, if I'm in that movie on set, bro, I'm breaking. I'm like, yeah. what is happening right what's, now? What's going on? Fantastic though. It was it was the the delivery. The concept is just brilliant, bro. Yeah, the concept is perfect. And then you pair that with the Soul Glow theme. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like these are these are songs that are made up. They're, they're, not real. they're not real. They're not real. Soul Glow. Your Soul Glow. Just let it shine through. Your soul, yeah. soul is in your hair. <laughs> right, right. But it's a double double meaning. Like, <laughs> yeah. Soul in your hair and you yeah. let your soul glow. <laughs> let it shine, shine so, so silky smooth. smooth. Mm-hmm. Just, Just let, let it shine, shine through. through. Yeah. Yeah. Just, Just let, let your soul, soul glow. glow. So low. Man. Come on. Bro. That's perfect. the reason. Why That's crazy. It's perfect. The name of the activator was so, so glow. So, man. They ain't say too many words to that one. Yeah. Nah, they man. It got to the point. <laughs> and that's what, and, and the thing was. What's understood don't need to be said. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing, because like in the 80s, hair products. Man, Because that's Because that's mm-hmm. what it says. It says so glow hair products, products right? Yes. So hair products was a big thing in the yeah. 80s, right? Shampoo, like conditioner, yeah. hair products. Activator. You know it what I mean? It still is, though. Yeah. Hair products, yeah. Oh, yeah, for it's sure. Yeah. Anything that has to do with beauty is, is still killing the game. But it's just like, Rihanna you know, billionaire. like I remember Afro Sheen. I remember Afro the Afro Sheen, Sheen commercials uh-huh. and the Just For Me commercials. Yeah, just, just For, for Me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so, so Glow fits right in that, right? Yeah. Like, it's so believable. The, the Murray's, yeah. Murray's, yeah. Pomade, yeah. Dax. Dax. Sporting Ways. Sporting Ways. <laughs> Luster's kit, Luster's yeah. S curl kit. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, we didn't have to wait. we didn't have wave checks back in the day. We just had sporting waves, sporting waves, and Murray's. Yeah, Which, yeah. And it was like, all right, oh, you going with sporting waves? Mm-hmm. I just I'm did Murray's. Murray's. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? I just yeah. brush. I got to make sure you I get brush that pomade in there. That pomade. Brush 86 times yeah. on this yeah. side. Tight, do rag all so tight. Yeah. You get a little your line. Brain, your brain, your brain, your brain, your brain throb frozen. a little bit. Yeah, little, <laughs> yeah. little throb. Yeah, yeah. All be numb. numb. This shit be <laughs> numb. But you like, I'm keeping that shit tight. There was no greater disappointment. Oh my god! Than gosh. waking up in the morning mm. and having your do rag come <laughs> it's loose and a slit off, <laughs> like ruined the day's waves. Your eyes are watery. Yeah, I should have yeah. said I should have said Easy for one of the curls because oh, that was a great curl. That was I great had on Cube. Whose curl was better, Cube or Easy's? I mean, whose cube, whose curl was better, Cube or Easy's? That's that's a question for the comments. That's a question yeah. for the comments. I don't who know if the, I have an opinion on that. <laughs> yeah, who had, the, who had the coldest curl in WA? <laughs> hey, uh, Cube had more hang time. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, Easy's um, was more gangster because he had the the shades. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. the shades popped it off. Yeah, uh-huh. because because you know? the way Easy's. Yeah. Curl used to pop off the side of the hat. Yeah, that was that was a true. great look right there. And, 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 <laughs> and poofed off. Yeah, and, and, and off. It, true story. The reason why he had to wear shades is because his curl was so shiny uh-huh. that it would blind him perfectly. <laughs> Man, hey, the the opening singer <laughs> of Ready for the World. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, that nigga. Yes, yes. <laughs> he's got a great curl. Hey, <laughs> watch Ready for the World. Uh, love Mad you down. Me. His the opening singer. Yes, when yeah. he comes in, when the it's, it's in the dark, when the light shines on him, you see his curl. Yeah, go ahead. And, and he hits. Hey, it, it never really mattered too much to me. Doom, doom, doom. That you was just too damn old for me. <laughs> hey, the top Woo! curl. The, the curl, curl. Uh-huh. the curl. I the love top. it. The curl, I love it. man. Yeah, he his, curled well he had there. Curl acne too. Yeah, yeah. on yeah, his yeah, nose, his yeah. forehead. When you, that's what you did back in the day when you didn't really know how to take care of your skin. Mm-hmm. As a man, you would put a lot of curl 
in your like juice yeah. activator mm-hmm. whatever yeah. and then it come through through your pores yep. yeah you know what i'm saying yep. and then you would have you would have that curl bump on yep. the curl nose. bump yep yeah, yeah. that's great had a couple of those great man a couple of those that's great he gives you a curl bump that was a, he had a great curl yeah, yeah. He had a great curl Amazing. that shit kind of curled up at, at the sides to yeah. whatever curl didn't quite hit the does, shoulders uh-huh. does this movie hit the same without the curl Oh, hold, hold on! First of all, now this this is, no, it's still here's the thing. There's so many fits, so many so things many about this thing. So many things about coming to America that mm-hmm. would be great if you didn't if you took away a few elements, but mm-hmm. it still wouldn't be as great. Yeah, it's just like mac and cheese or a certain mm-hmm. type of gumbo or certain. It, this gumbo was great. It's the best gumbo I, I ever had. Mm-hmm. However, if you take away the okra, you take away the shrimp, no shrimp, you take away the crab yeah. legs, or something yeah. like that. You, but it's still good. Yeah, you take yeah. off one, but it ain't the same as this. Yeah. Coming to America, you got to have the curl. Daryl has you to gotta, have a curl. Daryl has. Daryl has, has to have a curl because you have, you got to have. It's not just that you have to. You care about other people because you don't care about mm-hmm. nobody. Yeah. Right. Which, but what I do care about is my curl. My right. curl. Before I get out the car, I got to look in the mirror. Daryl has to be. The opposite of Akeem. Right. And mm-hmm. they do a great way of establishing mm-hmm. that he's the opposite of Akeem Fire. in a lot of different ways. Fire. Right? Like, yeah. you know, like Akeem is courageous. Daryl is not. Cowardice. Right? right? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, Daryl is entitled. Akeem is not. Right. Yeah. Right? Despite the, the wealth mm-hmm. that comes from their family. Uh-huh. Right. Akeem is generous. Daryl is not. not uh-huh. Right. Akeem has natural hair, fruits and berries and juices, mm-hmm. yes. right? Like you know, Akeem. Yes. Akeem is all natural. natural. Daryl has to be. He got the yeah. Lamar Burton. He said, "Nigga, please ain't nothing but ultra perm." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ain't nothing but ain't ultra, ultra perm. <laughs> Man, so yeah, that's a great point. Mm-hmm. Daryl is mm-hmm. uh, arrogant. He's mm-hmm. uh, he lacks integrity. Lacks mm-hmm. integrity. He'll, he'll, he'll take the credit for someone mm-hmm. else's doing, mm-hmm. and that's whack. Yeah. And so, um, here's the thing: how. What type of chick? I always feel like this, man. I'm a, I'm gonna get a little serious real quick. Mm-hmm. When I look at a woman, and you, and vice versa, you can always tell a woman or a man by their mate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What was what what was you know what what was uh, Lisa going through to where she saw value? She in, was hella naive, but you know what it yeah. was though, I, I, and she I, was trying to keep her father happy. That must have been what it was. I honestly think that this movie does a, a good job parallel paralleling certain scenes with. They they do it's scenes, yeah. it's characters, it's mm-hmm. everything. Akeem's dad is this overbearing, overbearing, entitled mm-hmm. type of like mm-hmm. strong figure. Yep. Yep. Lisa has the same type of dad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then it's just like he's we don't, the boss, he's the king. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. We don't we don't care. We don't care what you what what, what, what you're you doing, feel. what you're feeling. What you feel. We mm-hmm. don't care what right. you're feeling. Just do this. Yeah, do what this I. I'm setting you up. This is this is Status this driven. is the way mm-hmm. you go. You you go with Daryl. Yep. Mm-hmm. No, don't go with the guy that we just hired. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right at McDonald's. The goat herder. Yeah, the goat herder. Go with this guy. Mm-hmm. He has right? paper. He has and, and he and he loves you or he cares about you as much as he can. Right. Um. But he's got. He, most of all, he's a he's a provider. He's he a has provider. Yeah. And, and that's, that's and father is trying to make sure his daughters mm-hmm. have providers. Yeah. Which is crazy because I like I, I don't even think. That we would think that way now, like as mm. a father, you want your 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 kids to to be happy, be happy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You want them to to be provided for. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you're just like, no, nah, you yeah. got to go out there and get that baby girl. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't don't you don't yeah. need somebody to 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 give you things. You need mm-hmm. somebody that's gonna care about you. Right? I think so. that Lisa has fallen for the subterfuge of Daryl. That's a T word. Look at that's, yeah. that's a great one. Right Subterfuge. Here. Subterfuge. <laughs> because it because she thinks that Daryl is the type of person to put a large sum in the collection yes. at the event. Mm-hmm. In, in her mind, she doesn't realize that he's one hundred percent not the type. Right. right, and it's probably because whenever he's with her, he's whispering sweet nothings. Yeah, he's giving yeah. her things. Yeah, sending mm-hmm. her flowers. Yeah, taking her places. Right, showers, she, smiling, yeah. Yeah. smiling, mm-hmm. and letting that curl shine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so she's she, stuck she, she, in she's the curl. Blinded. Yeah, she's, she's been blinded. distracted yeah. by, the, by the curl sheen. Yeah, she yeah. thinks he's a good person. Yeah, yeah, right. She thinks he's a good person, and you know, and I think because of that, but but to be fair. Once she finds out that he's not, she gives this nigga no quarter. No. Nah. Right? Like, right. you know, like. Yeah. She cut him off. Cuts him off mm-hmm. quickly. Cold turkey. But yeah, I think like like we know he's a scumbag, 
But right. she doesn't know that yet. But shout out to her. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I feel like every man is looking for that. For yeah. me, just to be 100% transparent, she was somebody I was supposed to marry. Mm. Okay. Lisa McDowell, I, I, like, I, I wanted her. Like, you know, it was her, Sade, mm-hmm. you know. Claire Huxtable. Claire yeah. Huxtable, Anita Baker. Mm-hmm. Like, all these mm-hmm. these women. These Mark are like Maurice. These are like the women yep. for me. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it's just amazing to see that, like, she didn't want any of that stuff. She didn't want nothing. I right. want you to care about me. Yeah. I want you to. It, she wanted the same things I came with. Mm-hmm. Right. Exactly. She cares the about the kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, right. like she she cares about other people. Right. Empathy. Right? Empathy. 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 She has great empathy. Mm-hmm. And intellect. And she intellect. Intellect. Right. Arousing his intellect. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Man, so Hakeem finds his way into her father's, Lisa McDowell's father's uh, store. McDowell's. Um, McDowell's. Yeah. Another great. <laughs> Another bro, great. <laughs> bro, it's, it's, it's genius, man. It's brilliant. <laughs> he said, they got the old, they got the go narcs? Yeah. <laughs> we got the go <laughs> narches. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah. Hey, yo. They got the big Mac. We got the big Mick. <laughs> the big <laughs> Mick. <laughs> bro, you're, you're a thief. Same, yeah, it's the same thing. But yeah. we don't fry ours with a uh, sesame seed bun. Yeah, yeah, we both have the two, two patties, <laughs> sesame <laughs> seed bun. That's we don't the, have the sesame yeah. bun. Yeah. That's the only thing. It's yeah. not the Big Mac. Yeah, yeah. It's the Big Mac. It's the Big Mac. No sesame, no sesame yeah. seed bun. No yeah. sesame seed bun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What was happening <laughs> in McDowell's was phenomenal. Oh my! Gosh. Every scene in McDowell's yeah, makes me fucking bro. cry laughing. Yes. From from a keen. Mopping for the first time. Yes. <laughs> right? When he was mopping moving the, inside he the was bucket. Move, he was moving the bucket yeah. around to, to Louis Anderson's um, aspirational speech. Oh, my uh, God. His my career gosh. arc. Like, everything was Right now, done. I'm on lettuce. You see it. Tomorrow, I'll be on the fries. Yeah, soon, I'll be on fries. <laughs> I'll be on fries. <laughs> what? Man, yeah, everything, bro. Aspiration, everything. I'm an um, assistant manager, and that's when the bu- <laughs> that's when the bucks are rolling in. Yeah. So proud. Wait, yeah, yeah. so ah. proud. <laughs> yeah. Big bucks. And even Akeem was like, ah. every, that's, but that's that's going back to show you too, like like this is what people care about mm-hmm. in America. Mm-hmm. We care about making the big bucks. The yeah. big we care bucks. about making the big bucks. Continuing promotions, to, promotions, mm-hmm. and all this. Right. Yeah. And that's why he's just like, oh, mm-hmm. okay, okay, yeah, yeah, because it's it's. I don't know what is Louis Anderson. I don't know what his name was in the movie, but it's him who gives us the information that Daryl is a trust yes. fund baby. Yes. Like he knows that like this guy doesn't have to work. The leave, prince, leave it to the white yeah. boy. The prince of Soul Glow. Yeah, the of Soul boom. Glow. Yes, I never yes, even yes, picked yes. that up. Right. That's a oh, that's great. And uh, the white boy wouldn't know what a what a trust fund mm-hmm. baby is. He <laughs> yes. recognized it. Oh, that's a trust fund baby. I yeah. went to high school with those guys. Yeah, you know but it's saying? also interesting because and this and this again goes back to Akeem's perspective because Akeem asked him, "Oh, he must work really hard." When mm. when when they make the mention that like Daryl's got a lot of money, mm-hmm. Akeem goes, "Oh, he must work really hard." Mm-hmm. And then that's when Louis Anderson's like, "Nah, him, the Prince of Soul Glow." Yes. Right? Like, you know, so it's interesting, like, Akeem's perspective mm-hmm. on things. Yeah. Right? Like, you know, despite having never worked, having never wiped his own ass, you know what oh, I mean? All those sh- different types of things. Yeah. That's hilarious. But maybe he's thinking about it from his perspective as, as, a, as a new New Yorker going like, okay, here's what I'm making now. To yeah. get that, you must, have, you must work really hard like Mr. McDowell or something right. like that. No, yeah. I think he was just, honestly, he was just digging for information. Yeah. Because if I know yep, if I know if this man works hard, mm-hmm. it's gonna be harder for me to woo his woman. Yeah. Right. Uh-huh. I know and I'm if, here for his woman. Yeah, I'm uh-huh. here for her. Yeah. <laughs> he was here for the he was, some, he was on some he was yeah. on some pimping type stuff. Hey, mm-hmm. low key at the Christmas party that Mr. McDowell invited Simi and uh Akeem oh, to, came, to work, mm-hmm. he came in and threw his hate on. Oh, yeah. he was he, came, oh. he was outside hating. Yeah. yeah. Damn. He had his radar on. Damn, Damn. the whole Damn. time. <laughs> Dirty <laughs> Mackin. <laughs> Dirty Mackin. <laughs> yeah, on a swing. Yeah. <laughs> but what I would you question? And this is for people in the comments. Would you Dirty Mac for Lisa McDowell? Would you <laughs> Dirty course. Mac for the love of your life? It was love at first sight for him. Is he <laughs> mm-hmm. wrong for, for Dirty, Dirty Mackin? Mackin? No. <laughs> Are you ever were wrong uh, for Dirty uh, Mackin? Yes. Undercutting mm-hmm. Daryl. <laughs> Here's yes. the thing: is it is it wrong to undercut a dude when you know the dude ain't shit, and you know it's a good woman right here, mm. and she's wrapped up with a dude that ain't shit, mm. right? I know he ain't. I know he ain't shit. 
I got it, it wrong. It's just like Mario's You Should Let Me Love You. you right? Got, man. <laughs> right? Like, but that's worse. Because <laughs> that's his homeboy. That's his yeah, homeboy's yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, don't, you, don't do that. Shit, you don't do that with your homeboy. Like, nobody that's close. Mm-hmm. You got to right. not know the person. You got to not know the nigga. Yeah. Yeah. And it, and it doesn't help Daryl that think, he just starts talking shit. Too. I think that dirty. Yeah. I think the dirty macking can be excused if it's the love of your life. No, hey, right? Like, like, no. like, like you gotta. Like, I asked the question. You gotta win. You no. gotta, you gotta win in the end. I get it. You can't dirty mac just for the conquest. Just you for can't dirty mac for the panty draws. Right. You can't. That's, that's foul. But right. if you like, I'm like, if you live happily ever after, I feel like the dirty mac should like. The statute of limitations hey man, should expire you told, at a certain you told Lisa, point. When blah, 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 blah. is a is a song from a movie from the eighties? Is it not? What? When in the end? What is that? What is that from? <laughs> Shit. Is, that, is that Rocky? <laughs> when in the end? What is that? When song? in the end? When in the end? end? It's either that tiger, or it's Wildcats Rocky. or something. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. in that. Uh, you, uh, said, uh, you got to win in the end. You got to win in the end. I think. Honestly, I think you cannot dirty Mac if it's if it's somebody you know. Here's the thing. You know this person you can't. In reality, you mm-hmm. can't Dirty Mac, period. Period. Against the code. That's but if it's Lisa code. McDowell. But if it's Lisa McDowell. If it's Lisa McDowell. If it's Lisa McDowell. You can't know the guy. And you can't know the nigga. <laughs> or if you do know him, y'all ain't friends. Yeah. yeah. Can't and be he friends. knew Daryl. But if, is it, but Daryl kind of told the nigga, hey, bro, I'm a shitty individual, bro. I'm with yeah. a woman that, you know what I'm saying, Lisa, I tell her what to do. Yeah. Yeah. You know a woman saying? wants that. Yeah. I want. And so I'm, I'm, I'm listening to this nigga. I came yes. as like, Mm-hmm. Oh, you 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 a dirtbag? Yeah, you, you mm-hmm. whack. So he probably went out. And on, here's the thing: in his defense, he's from Zamunda. He mm-hmm. don't know nothing about dirty macking. He don't know. Nothing, he never had to hate in his life. I think he. I think he. I know he's the lot. prince yeah. of Zamunda. He never prince. had to hate. Yeah. I think he knows because if you watch him, if you watch Akeem mm-hmm. throughout the entire movie, he was this hella strategic, super about when he talks yeah. to Lisa. When he does him talk to how Lisa, does a prince a prince? How does a prince learn how to hate though? I don't think he's hating. I think I think he that's hating that, for sure he's on that swing hating. on the swing set. Yeah. yeah, he went out there and brought a champagne, bro. But he's only hating because but, he's a bad person. Yeah. Oh, he's because so, Daryl's a bad person. Yes. That so that's kind of sure. it's, it's, it's Daryl was a good nigga. Like Daryl was and, a nice and, guy. And almost, and it's almost not that that he's he's hating. He's just trying to put something into her. To her head. For her to make her own decision. That's, still, own that's decision. still dirty Mac and nigga. You he know, saw, the, he, you know, he saw his opening. Yeah, right. Like he he saw his opening. Yeah, and he took advantage. I think up until that point, he's just trying to kind of collide with Lisa. Yeah, right. Like you know, when he comes in, attention. when he comes into mm-hmm. the office and introduces himself, like let me introduce myself. When he decides that. Um, he's gonna go to the St. John's game, mm-hmm. right? Like you know, it's her smile and nod mm-hmm. that he says yes to because because so, her sister was who's a freak. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh, nigga! Come on, why are little, yeah. why are Under- little sisters? But she's always a freak. she's like, underratedly awesome in this movie. Yes. she is fantastic. She was, yeah. she was yeah. man. Her a, looks, her like her CBO. little her little last looks, yeah. like either from the look up and down, uh, everything, like, bro. Man, baby girl was a, a CBO. She was about that life, <laughs> a chocolate bad one. Yeah, man, <laughs> she was delicious, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, uh-huh. And if um. Hakeem, Hakeem, but he also saw right through her. She's beautiful, but she was had all the wrong intentions. He wasn't yeah. looking for yeah. lust. He was looking for love. He wasn't right. looking for lust. And she was trying yeah. to throw them draws at him. Man, she yeah. she she grabbed nigga dick. Yeah. Well, First date. Uh, yeah. She at was the St. The John's game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jamaican Queens the in the house. Yeah. Game. At the St. John's game. At the St. John's, St. John's game. <laughs> at a Catholic we basketball, basketball game. We play soccer. At the garden. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> in the face. <laughs> Man. Yeah. But let's but but since we're at the garden. You know, just more slime ball evidence uh, from from Daryl. Just just hating on 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 just the nigga. Hating. Y'all probably play chase the monkey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they make fish. you hate him. Yeah. They yeah. really make yeah. you hate him. Yeah. Which was hard to do. In he's, the got, 80s he's, got, he's, he's, he's got. He's got. He's got. No he's got no <laughs> redeeming qualities. Like Man. you know, they make you hate him. They 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 you know the, even after you know like after I like a uh, uh, Akeem. Disarms Sam Jackson, right. which is a great scene. Yes, he um, comes up with the bullshit. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I, man, I, I appreciate, appreciate what you did. I would have helped you, but uh, 
had a had cup, a cup of, of coffee, coffee in my hand. hand. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You weenie pie. Yeah. And at weenie that point, <laughs> at, at that point, you could see the he way Akeem looks shake. at him. He was yeah. getting a shake though. Yeah. Like, bro, you was getting a shake. Yeah. Nah, nigga, yeah. <laughs> you were refilling hey, your shake. Put the damn... How you refill a shake? Yeah. <laughs> damn, yeah. I had a cup of coffee in my hand. Yeah. I had a cup of coffee in my hand. Yeah, milk right. was different back then, too. That so. nigga ducked. He yeah. was out of there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He ducked yeah. twice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sam, Sam Jackson. Com- but but this, is, this is what a shithole Daryl is. <laughs> Compliments him <laughs> and then insults him again, like in the very next sentence. Oh, my God. Like, you know, I could appreciate what you did. I would have helped you, but you know, I had a cup of coffee in my hand. You must learn all that shit, fighting lions, lions and tigers shit. And shit. Lions and tigers and shit. <laughs> right? Like, get the fuck away from me, Daryl. I said, hey, bro, if you don't leave me alone, yeah. if I and snap this, at you, bro. And this is what I'm saying. Like, when you're writing movies, right, you want to throw people off. You don't want everybody to know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Or what's Like, nobody thought that he, we knew this ain't got this ain't crazy with that stick. Mm-hmm. Nobody knew that he was gonna do what he was gonna do. Right. Mm-hmm. But we all should have known from that scene with them the doing all them semi- goddamn backflips. Yep. Yeah, fighting, <laughs> fighting, mm-hmm. practicing. Staff. Yep. With the, the bow staff. Yeah, they're practicing. He was like, no, like do it for real. <laughs> and he was so smooth with it. Oh my like god. Like the like the way he unscrewed it. The you know the the way he stood up the way he, please refrain from yeah, using any any mm-hmm. more obscenities mm-hmm. <laughs> or all these forced to thrash you yeah. <laughs> yeah. be forced to <laughs> thrash you be forced to thrash you wait Simi thrash? looks at him as soon yeah. as he starts he puts his foot on there yes. and does this Simi yeah. looks at him Simi's like, like I've, I've been waiting on some, if I can't I'm waiting Simi's like if I can't fuck while I'm here let me whip somebody's yeah, ass yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right Simi yeah. was ready Hell freeze yeah. you rhinoceros that's the type of freeze you disease rhinoceros pistol no matter how much no matter how much of a, of a terrible sidekick he is, he's the best sidekick for this. For hey, job. when it's all said and done, he had his back. Yeah. When it's all yeah. said and done, he complained, but he never dipped. Yeah, never. He never left. I'm going back home. He did go, he did fuck around. He went and got some money. He got yeah. some money. Yeah. Yeah. A he cool did, yeah. million. Yeah. A cool million. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Yeah. yeah. Wire me a cool million. Yeah. He's like, cool. he's like 500,000. Yeah. But but think about how how great Why that scene is. Think about how like it's it in every other movie that's a throwaway scene. But that scene is perfect. That exchange yes. the, the clerk's response. Yes. Like, you know, like she thinks he's so full of shit. Yes. He's so fish out of water yeah. that he don't even realize that, like, she's patronizing him. Right. Yeah. Right. Like, he don't even get it. Uh-huh. He's really like, you think that's too much? You, you don't think that's too much, right? Like, like wow. almost he's talking to somebody that's used to dealing with money like this. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right, like, everybody deals like, with money like this because I deal with money exactly. like this. Right, that, that's <laughs> where he's coming from. Yeah, the reality mean, check was a little, way that's off. the that's the only time that he kind of like went behind Akeem's back. Right, you know what I mean? Like he was just a, an overall kind of like sourpuss. But think about, and he didn't have the like when you talked about like he was loyal and he didn't dip. It's not like he had a choice. Mm-hmm. He had right. to do what what mm-hmm. Akeem told him to do. If yeah. he if he didn't if he did leave, he'd probably be murdered. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? King Joffrey, King you, Joffrey left, you left my he, son? But remember what his punishments were. Yeah. Go yeah. to the to the five-star hotel that we're staying in and yeah. get bathed by yeah. these women. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, That's, thank you. Thank Your you. majesty. Yeah. Go to the, to the ward off Astoria and make <laughs> sure he's bathed thoroughly. Ward off Astoria. Thoroughly. The ward off Astoria. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Man. Yeah. Have, haven't you guys been in a ward off? I've been in a ward off before. I have not. And, I, mean, and, and I cannot walk in one without thinking about coming to America. The, the first time I went to one, it was like a business trip, and they had, the the company had, had uh, set yeah, me up, yeah. and I was like, "Mama, I done fucking made it. <laughs> this this is where King Joffrey was. Yeah, yeah. Joffrey Joe Fur was uh-huh. up in this man. The, we also can we also point out the fact that. Zamunda's in Wakanda. Mm-hmm. Can, we, yeah. can we just say Zamunda that? Zamunda is in Wakanda. Zamunda is in Wakanda. Not mm-hmm. only do they they have their own zoo inside of their yep. of, of their of Babar. Place, Babar. Good name the man, Babar. The man has zebras and and elephants coming Walking up to him mm-hmm. as he's taking a, a stroll yeah. in the garden. Yes. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, a stroll in the meadows. He steps, stops stops with the by. perfect grass. With the perfect, perfect grass. grass. He pets his pet elephant, Babar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, hello, Babar. <laughs> yeah, this I mean, is amazing. It, they establish that that they are ridiculously wealthy. Yes, and royal. Yes. I mean, even going back to like the twelve piece orchestra yes. playing playing the key away clock as he's bro. waking, as he's up. waking alarm up. Alarm clock. Yes. 
He said, oh, how do you, how do you not sleep great? Yeah. I would, sleep great. You know what? I would I would do something like that. If I had that much money, if I'm talking like a billion dollars. Yeah. Dang. I would literally have wait. a flu player come no, in. No, no, no. I would wake Shallow. up to like Jamiroquai mm-hmm. playing. Uh-huh. Yep. It, right. But it'd be actual Jamiroquai mm-hmm. sitting uh-huh. in the room yep. waiting for me to wake up like this. Everything is good mm-hmm. and round. And I'm uh, here again uh, <laughs> with the sunshine smile upon my How face. How you gonna wake up? How you gonna wake up? <laughs> mm-hmm. <sighs> every day is yes. my birthday. <laughs> every day is yeah, my every day is my birthday. Man, that's so, why he didn't know it was his birthday. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yes, it. Oh, it is my birthday. It is my birthday. <laughs> every day is his birthday. <laughs> every damn near. Mm-hmm. It feels the same. Mm-hmm. So, so he basically, we're gonna fast forward. Um, he he wants he needs to. He wants a woman to love him for him, not for his status and his mm-hmm. money and his legacy. So he he acts like he's a pauper. He acts like he's he's he works as a janitor, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, basic needs of McDowell's, and she likes him for her sister. She mm-hmm. thinks he's a cool guy. He's awkward. He's a little weird, and he finally woos her over. And Lisa McDowell's low key feeling like king. Yep. Yeah. Right. Um, this is where it gets a little weird for me. He lied to her, mm-hmm. but she was so upset that she found out that he was a prince and had bread and had all this money and just overlooked the fact that he tried to dumb that down. Well, no, that's not true. Let me fall back. Because she, she was upset that he lied, but she was upset, more upset, upset that he thinks, she thinks that he felt like if he told her that he was royalty, that she would be all over him and he wanted to, he didn't trust her to be a solid person. He wanted to see who she yeah. was. And, right. But, but, but ultimate, that's solid. That's real nigga shit. Though. But ultimately uh, she agreed with him. Like when, like when they're in the subway and he, and and he basically explained like do we would do you think we would have been here if you had known that I was a prince? She said no. She said no. Right? Like you know like so ultimately I think she was <laughs> I think she I think she like was I had upset. To lie. <laughs> I think she was upset because two men in a two men in a row had breached her trust. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you know. But the first, yeah, yeah yes. But like, it, first, it, 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 first one, you know, like Daryl, like trying to take control of her life. And then she falls for Akeem and he's not who he says he is. So I, so I think, you know, I think, I, I think she's kind of tailspun at the moment. I think at that point, I don't think it's, it's just that she's, she's upset because of that. I think she's more upset because this is what her dad wants. She mm-hmm. didn't want what her dad wanted. Mm-hmm. She, she was like, dang, I don't I don't want to continue to deal with this and deal with my dad trying to push these men on me. And I have this guy that's nice that doesn't have all those things. Mm-hmm. And I don't have to have all those things. Yeah. she She's literally trying to do exactly what Akeem is doing. I'm yeah. stepping away from all of that very just so I say. can... Just so I can be with somebody that I want to be with. Yeah, very be interesting. Around. Yeah, and she she was willing to throw it all away because um, he had to lie for the greater good. That's basically what happened. Yeah, mm-hmm. and she even when he came down to her um, on the subway, she still left. I'm like, hey man, stop, stop being stupid. Stop right. blocking your blessing. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know All you women, this is what I'm saying. Come on, man. This is a man's dilemma. Come on. Sometimes man. we gotta lie. Yeah. Lie to love you. Yeah. To love you. I'm lying to love you, okay? <laughs> That's all. Yeah. But I think I think it was a lot for her to take in. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like that's why it, it's it's not surprising that at the end we see her at the altar. But I think like that was I think it was a lot for her to take in. Right? Mm. That like, you know, that this guy who she's fallen in love with is not who he says he is. And not only is he not that, he's a prince. Right, like you know, I, I have, like I think you gotta not, take. I think you need. To, I think you need a night on that. Yeah, like, you know, the like before. How does that turn into <laughs> anger, though? Yeah, I see it like this. Being lied to. It's so yeah. By lying to you, it's 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 equivalent to this. This is what it's equivalent to. Yeah. It's her birthday, mm-hmm. right? And her dude, um, or her friend is like, "Hey, come to me to this uh banquet hall." And we're gonna play bingo over here for your mm-hmm. birthday. We're gonna just have the other, and you get there, and it's a surprise birthday party. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I lied to you to get you over yeah. here. Ain't no bingo. It's a you know chandelier dance party. I think it's a little bit heavier than that. It, it, of course it's heavier, yeah. but it's still you think about what happened. This dude lied to me. He 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 didn't disclose who he really was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he can really see how I Lisa, I, Lisa I passed the test. Why are you upset? Lisa is a person of high integrity. 
right? Mm. We see that throughout throughout the film. Uh-huh. She's a person of high integrity. Yeah. Uh-huh. When people of low integrity collide to her, it, uh-huh. it fucks with her, yeah. right? Like uh-huh. Daryl is a person of low integrity. Right. She thought Akeem was a person of high integrity like her, which, she which is. is why they which bonded. She is. How does she not? How, how does she not recognize that? She yeah. because at that particular moment. She got like the rug pulled out from under her. I think, she's, her I think she's allowed to fall. It's her ego. I think she's allowed to fall and get back up. That's yeah. that's that's my my POV. You're allowed hey, to lie. You can. You're allowed to. Fall. And not only that. Not only that. She gets information that the only reason why Akeem is here from Akeem's daddy is to fuck around. So she's given a piece of information yeah. that like not only is he not who he says he is, mm-hmm. but his daddy. Not only, not only do is I not get who he is. His dad did a dirty. He's engaged yeah. to be married. Yeah, right. Like uh, you know, yeah. he's, he's engaged so like, to be married, that's and he's, why we and he's about only this, here, like, and he's only yes. here to kind of like sow his royal oats. Yeah. So she gets three pieces of valuable fucking information that those serious question marks. And was I get re- that. And was really like, you think my son will be interested in you? Yeah. You think, you think yeah. he's feeling you? <laughs> mm-hmm. You're a munch. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're just lunch. Um, <laughs> so, so that was a lot for her I to get take that. in. Yeah. I almost, uh, you almost had me. You have me a little bit. Pause. Mm-hmm. Then I'm thinking, yeah, however, this nigga never tried to smash. Well, so you can't see him, but you know what? No wonder he was trying to smash. He was, he was about to smash. They did he, kiss. He was, no, not only. They were and supposed to, to. They were supposed to go into the house. Yeah, and and fucking Some semi fucked it up. Some shit happened because right. they walked because they walked into they walked into the apartment. If I'm getting, he saw the roses. He saw he saw the roses because remember she goes, I want to. Yeah, yeah. I, I I I you know like That's, I'm ready. My my point so is it's about to fuck. No, yeah, I understand that, but that wasn't his main focus. His main focus was to win her over with love True. and just talk and this, you know, yeah, yeah. see where she was, where her head was at. Which he Not got her. literally. That you know was the. That was the. So, I got her. I can see if he beat them down, and then she met the pops. Was like, oh yeah, he was. He came out here to smack, smack some New York bros. Mm-hmm. But any any woman you tell, oh, he's engaged to be married, and they're gonna be like, what? Yeah. Nah, if you're a real one, you are gonna ask me. Your father said this. Is this true? Can I talk to you for a minute. She took Daryl in the little laundry room and, mm-hmm. and, and asked him shit. Yeah. Give it, throw this thing out. And, but, and here's the thing. I'll put it like this. Mm-hmm. If I if I know I'm a solid nigga, mm-hmm. I'm a, even if I did something wrong, uh-huh. but not crazy wrong. It's not, I ain't cheat on you. I ain't disrespect you. I ain't, I ain't call you out your name. I ain't put my hands on you. Right? I just, I, I gave you, I, I, I might have, uh, I didn't tell you who I really was mm-hmm. in efforts to really, to keep all that shit separate and just to learn you and you learn me. Mm-hmm. Just not our status, not our money, not our past, not our legacy, but mm-hmm. to learn our personalities, our integrity, our yeah. characteristics, all that shit. That's why I didn't tell you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Had she came to him and asked him, like, I mean, like, your father said this, this, this is, I'm feeling this way, I don't like the fact that they had to, he had to chase her down in the subway mm-hmm. yeah. to have that talk. She didn't give him the benefit of the doubt to sit there and have that conversation with him. But and I, she almost blocked her I mean, blessing. Like, and that's whack. No, I, why, can especially you, when you came from you, a raggedy ass nigga like Daryl. Mm-hmm. If it's me, if I if I'm a king, I'm like, hey, uh-huh. check this out. Hey, bring your goofy ass over here, bro. <laughs> you used to fuck with this nigga. Mm-hmm. Fuck what you talking about. You fuck with this jerry curl yeah. dripping ass nigga, yeah. this goofy ass, scary ass nigga, and I you think, don't give me grief. I think if it doesn't go down, I think here, if man. it doesn't go down that way, it doesn't make sense. I think it I think it makes for the sense. For the movie, of course. I think it I think even like for the movie and in life, I think it makes sense for her to walk away because nah. because out of everything that they had gone through. Mm-hmm. There was no rainbow sunshine moment right. to be had on that subway car, right? Like, like e- the reconciliation would have been lukewarm at best. No, had they decide to do that, you know, no, this nah, would been happy. Yeah, that's I don't like. I don't see a happy subway. ending on that on that subway. This what happens? Go ahead, honey, take a chance. Mm-hmm. That's that was the moment. And then the and then the whole crowd, the whole the whole cart like do it, do it. Yeah. But everybody do it. was but every- And then it's a nigga, it's a street dancer on the motherfucking train, like they always <laughs> have in New York. Mm-hmm. And he started playing music and shit. Yeah. And they started having that song. They started slow dancing on the song on the subway. Nigga, yeah. yes, bro. It could have ended right then and there. It could have, bro. I get what you're saying, but as a writer, I'm like, nah, mm-hmm. man. It, that we're gonna have like the the the, the, the most dirtiest place. To have a romantic moment that mm-hmm. is going to be here I get it. on the subway. I get it. You know what but I mean? You, it, but you, are, you also got to think, too, is it's it's the fact that they both, money isn't everything. So it was all outside sources. She wanted to give him a chance. Mm-hmm. That's why she said what she said. She's sitting there and she's looking at him like, 
I probably wouldn't have gave you a chance. Mm-hmm. So she knows. She knows everything that, that we're saying. Yeah, yeah. But that's still thrown in her face. Go for it, honey. Take a chance. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, come on. He's a millionaire. Mm-hmm. It's like, what? That's now she's taking it back again. Yeah. Cause like you've done all the these things. The old lady fucked it up for him. You've done all <laughs> these shit. Fuck up, bitch. Don't, don't take that fuck up. Shut the you've fuck done up. all like and he you gotta think he's he's taking his time to woo her. Mm-hmm. To really woo her. Yeah. Slow dance with her, take her to a nice dinner. That's what I'm saying. He wasn't trying give to slide, money, right? give money to the homeless. Yeah. Like all of this stuff. Like but it's she, like But in that moment, she's wondering if all that shit was fake. Right, right, like you know, right. I think, How? I when think, I didn't, I didn't because you, because when you tell me I want to, I want to give you the loins, yeah, and I don't mm-hmm. take you to the, I, I don't go into the house and smack you. Mm-hmm. That lets you know my intentions wasn't to smash. But only. he, but he was going, he was going to. Then he saw something and started acting erratic. She mm-hmm. didn't know what was going on. Yeah, she's like, "What the hell is going on?" Mm-hmm. And now he's running all over the place. Like, I gotta drop you off here. I see this. Uh, mm-hmm. I, just stay here. Go. I gotta go. Yeah. So she, he looks like he's hiding something. Mm-hmm. Now in her he mind, she's like, "What the hell? What is he yeah. hiding?" Yeah. And then you talk to his dad. And it's like, "Oh, he's hiding all this other stuff. He probably hiding, got a whole, hiding the fact that he's married. She got all kinds of stuff going yeah. through her head. Yeah. How many wives does he have? He's an African prince. Fuck mm-hmm. all that. You was fucking with Daryl. <laughs> You was mm-hmm. you was smashing Daryl. I think that she was. I think she was messing messing with uh, Daryl out of like it wasn't even necessity. It was just like I it think was out of thing to do. Yeah. Father, yeah. And, and I and I think she like you said. I think she thought Daryl was a good guy because she wasn't smart enough. She wasn't smart she enough. Was when I came. She was naive. naive. I, 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 they don't know until a real one got to step around. Come you know on, man. Shout I, out, I, lady. You, hey, really, really, yo, Lisa McDowell, you almost fucked off your whole future. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you wouldn't have got your mind right and then flew out to uh, 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 Zamunda mm-hmm. and snuck married the nigga, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? You might have fucked it all because he had he dipped. I mean, he was about to have Vanessa Bell Calloway. I can't he dip. I can't let you. Uh, I can't let you take my uh, take talk to my woman like that. I'm I understand, saying, man. Yeah. But here's the thing, bro. <laughs> here's the thing, bro. You got to. It's tough love, nigga. It's tough love. I bro. really love yeah. her. You yeah. understand? Nah, least, <laughs> hey, bro. I had. That was I had, a beautiful I, woman. As a kid, bro. My then she and then she showed up again in the Black Street video. Oh mm-hmm. my gosh! So I was like, Lisa McDowell, you was the one for me. You was yeah. one of the ones. Here's the thing, but as I got older, mm-hmm. <laughs> I got older and I, and I came into my manhood and started uh-huh. dealing with women in relationships. I'm like, yeah. oh, Lisa, you low key on some fuck shit. Yeah. A little bit. I love you. Yeah. I love you, but hey, you don't, uh, like, li- hey, here's the thing, bro. Let's break this shit down a little <laughs> bit. Um, I ain't gonna spend too much time on it because we gotta go in a minute, but like, even, you know how I feel about Jada Pinkett and her roles and her movies. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Lisa, yeah. Lisa started off strong. But then she didn't. She 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 acted too rashly, man. She didn't. She didn't take the time to sit down with Hakeem before she ran off to the subway. Hey, man, she took Daryl did some fuck shit. Well, no, remember she Hakeem needed, ran. She, out, Hakeem ran out on her first. She needed time to herself. But hold on, mm-hmm. she asked no questions, bro. She asked questions to Daryl. She took him in the room and like, what are you doing? She were asked. She asked questions. She didn't get. Subway. She didn't get a chance. No, after yeah. he chased her down. Yeah, but, but, but she remember, time but, to but remember, Hakeem was already gone. So Akeem, Akeem leaves her at the crib. While Akeem is gone, she, the 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 King Joffrey and, and the whole, pull you know up. what I mean? They pull up. Mm-hmm. She gets all of this information in the time from when Akeem leaves. Yeah. She dips on the family. Yeah, right. yeah. That's after true. after That's after true. Joffrey insults her, yeah. mm-hmm. she throws her coat on. Yeah. Akeem finds her in the streets mm-hmm. while she's trying to understand what the fuck just happened to her world. That's what she's like, nah, and come here, nigga. He's dressed, he's not up. himself. He's yeah. dressed different. He's a totally, he's the prince He's now. the prince. He, she meets the prince she for the first the time. The you got to have time. questions, Lisa. Don't run off on the nigga. <laughs> he saw you in traffic. Lisa! Mm-hmm. And she, she saw him and then dipped down, down to the train. Mm-hmm. Nah, 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 nah. Let me holler at you. Let's walk in this pizza yeah. spot and let's chop it up because I got yeah. some questions for you. Fuck is all this garb you got on, my nigga? <laughs> all this jewels and jewels and mm-hmm. baguettes she you got on, bro. See it. She didn't want to see none of that. Hey, man. Yeah. She almost blocked her blessing. Almost. Okay. We got to get into some awards. Let's do that. Okay. All right. MVP. MVP. Mm. Who is the MVP of Coming Dang. to America? MVP of Coming to America. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Akeem. You think it's Akeem? Prince Akeem. Lisa McDowell. Lisa McDowell's Lisa the MVP? Lisa McDowell's the MVP. If Hakeem is the hero that does everything and he needs to be saved at the end from this woman that he doesn't want to get married with, mm-hmm. who's the person that makes that decision and does it for him? 
Lisa McDowell. But he he's he, he she's was the there. catalyst to everything. I like I like that I like that I'm I, I'm not, I don't think you're wrong. I just feel like the fact that he took his whole he took his whole mm-hmm. his intentions and his mm-hmm. talents to Queens, New York, not knowing what he was going to find there. He's right. the reason why. It's not like he saw her in the magazine. I want to go there or mm-hmm. saw her on TV and went to, he went to Queens not knowing nothing. Fish out of water. Yeah, and he ran into her. It wasn't like by her design that she met him or he met her. So he so was, so watch this. Mm-hmm. So watch this. If it was that important. To the hero, why didn't he stay? Hmm? Why didn't he stay? Because she said that she was done with him. She threw him back. She gave him back the earrings. There why was didn't nothing he, stay? he could do, huh? He should have stayed. A, a, a real player don't holler more than once, man. A little player, a real player, <laughs> gonna be like, I ain't going nowhere until you come with me. <laughs> nah, nah, yeah. Uh, I, 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 you, well, that's not a player. Me. That's a, that's that's a man. I'm not talking that's, about a that, player. That's making about, a ch- like, I'm making a about, choice. I'm making his choice. He basically bowed out. We're like, damn, man. I, I, against against. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing: If you love a woman that much, you mm-hmm. let her go if she ain't happy. Well, I mean, because he had a grip of he had a grip of a tradition and everything right there, pushing him to that direction. But there's a certain point where you're supposed to be like, "Nah, I'm staying. I'm staying for my woman." That would have been cool. But his, does he deserve it though? <laughs> Here is my dark horse MVP. There you go, dark horse MVP, Clarence the Barber. I promise you. <laughs> I promise you. Yes. I promise you. We were talking about who he was like, she's the catalyst for. Mm-hmm. I was like, I promise when you said that, I was like, really, really, nigga. It's Clarence it's, the Barber. It's, the barber. <laughs> it's Clarence the Barber. Yes. Clarence you know the saying? Barber. He's the matchmaker. He's the um, one that 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 he, gets him in the room. Uh-huh. Right. He's the one that dispenses useful advice. Akeem keeps coming back to Clarence for advice. How do I where do I find a good woman? How do He's I impress him bad him? advice? What told told him to try to get in good with the daddy, right? That like, was you know, a bad idea. Akeem failed at it. Akeem failed at it. But 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 Clarence was putting him on the path. He, he walked in his office and said, "Did you see the, the, the <laughs> yeah. football match yeah. on yeah. TV the other day? Mm-hmm. They had an oblong ball mm-hmm. in the they back of the Green Bay. But but listen, <laughs> of Green Bay. But listen, Clarence was right because when Akeem disarms Sam Jackson." It impresses the daddy, uh-huh. which causes Protect the daddy him. to invite him to the house, uh-huh. which so gives work. him the opportunity to get on the swing. Mm-hmm. Right? So here's the thing. Oh, whoa. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. To, he he this invited is, is, him over to work. Right, but, but the thing is, he invited him. He wouldn't have got an invite, invite for either for either yeah, or he if he didn't see impress it, him. But he didn't yeah. see him as an equal, though. It, it, it didn't matter. Mm-hmm. It didn't go matter. He, you you got to You have getting to. Getting in cool. Baby steps. You yes. got to get in. Get your foot in. Getting in. You know what I'm saying? Getting cool with the pops. It's got like him in the house. It's internship. You got to equal until, yeah. until you prove yourself. To, you, yeah. you go from intern to a, a partner in three years. Boom. I think Clarence was proven right. No. Like, like Akeem got Akeem got in good with, with, with Mr. McDowell. He didn't. He did good enough for him to invite the man did. to his yeah, house. He did. Good enough for him to say, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you. Thank you. Listen, listen. Here's the thing. Put it like this, hey bro. If Clarence says, "Hey man, getting good with this with her father," and so here's the thing: I work at McDowell's now. Hey sir, how you doing? Um, uh, and he comes, hey yo, Jade, bro, you've been working real good around the store, around the restaurant. Um, I want you, I want you to do, I want you to do the same thing for my Christmas party. Mm-hmm. Just serve drinks. In my mind, that's a win. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm like, that's a win. Mm-hmm. I impressed him enough to get a key. I'll get my foot in the door yeah. at this party. Now I can do what I want once I'm here. I mean, I have access to and, her now. And Pops gave him a cushy job. Uh huh. Come on in. I got something for, for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Brought him in the house. Sir, walked him, walked him around the house. Yeah, and, and, train. And, and, and uh-huh. said, like, listen, if you work hard, like in 20, 30 years, you can have something, something like, like this, this too. Yeah. Right? Like, right back know, to the money. He's, uh-huh. he's in good. He's he's yeah. in as good that as would he be can something. get with the pop. <laughs> yeah, that would, yeah, be, that that would, would be something. something. Yes, yeah. that would be something. That's what you want. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you, you can't expect him to be like, hey, man, you know what? I like you so much. You impressed me. Hey, I want you to date my daughter. That's not. And if and if he isn't at that party, when the window opens for him to Get on the swing mm-hmm. and talk to Lisa. And get that hate going. That never happens. <laughs> the right. Mac, the That's a dirty Mac activated. Dirty, dirty, dirty Mac, Mac activated. <laughs> dirty uh-huh. Mac activated. <laughs> Check it up. Spray okay. it. <laughs> so here's what's interesting on the LVP. I don't know if there's an LVP, Ooh. but I have another award for you guys. Okay. So so think about the LVP. Here's the other award. What does LVP stand for again? The least, least valuable, valuable player. That's least what I, that's what I figured. Uh-huh. But everybody in this movie it's, matters. There's yes. no 
There's no throwaway character. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Everybody at the nightclub matters. Mm-hmm. Everybody in the barbershop mm-hmm. matters. Mm-hmm. Everybody in Zamunda matters. Right. Right? Like, you know, there is no real LVP. Um, so as an alternative to the LVP, mm. who's the worst person in this movie? Oh, we've been killing Daryl the whole time. Okay. I got a hold couple on, of other. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Before you give me one. Before, uh, who's the worst person? Uh, Patrice. You think Patrice, Patrice is the worst is a person? Shit person too. Patrice is shitty. <laughs> yeah, she, she did try to smash yeah. her, yeah. her girl's here's ex-man. The thing. Here's the thing. Right bro. away. Mm-hmm. And here's the thing. Lisa McDowell is a monster, right? She's beautiful, everything, classy. Mm-hmm. Her little sister was crazy. Yeah. Sexy as hell. But Patrice why does she was, always get the good Yeah. Ones? And and, <laughs> and, and mm-hmm. up until uh, Daryl never tried to smack those. He never tried to smash Lisa's little sister. Mm-hmm. He's a shitty nigga, right? Yeah. But he ain't as bad as her because cause <laughs> Patrice will smash her sister's dude. Yes. Both of them. But Lisa kind of smashed Hakeem, who her sister was into. So, like, there is... Ooh, that's a good point as well. Damn. You know I mean? That's a good point If I try well. to hook you... If I try to hook my, my brother up yeah. with a chick for my job... And then you smash her? And then... But... Like, what are you doing? Damn. But, you okay, wait, 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 wait. The McDowell sisters are something else, man. The McDowell sisters are something else. I don't yes. think... But I don't think Lisa was trying to hook up Patrice. She was. It came up in conversation... Right? And Patrice was like, we have an extra ticket. Why don't you come? No. So it wasn't like Lisa came to Akeem and said, I want you to double date with me and my can I, sister. Can I give you a scene where it kind of debunks your theory? Sure. What about Daryl? I'm not interested in Daryl. Oh, what, what about, about Patrice? Patrice? That's a great point. Ah. That's a great point. Hey, that's why we're doing this, man. That's a great point. <laughs> we, we, we breaking down these movies, that's a great man. Point as well. Black Busters, man. That's we breaking point. down <laughs> these saying. movies. She that's knew. what we do, man. She do. Um, yes. She hey, knew. that was a bar of us of, of a line, too. Yeah. <laughs> what about Daryl? Mm-hmm. I'm not interested in Daryl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, what about Patrice? She's, Patrice, yeah, was, Patrice first. was first. Yeah, yeah. I'm not interested in I'm Patrice. Not interested in Patrice. <laughs> what, what about Daryl? Yeah, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Give, me, talking about? give me them lips. Yeah. <laughs> give me the lips. While we slow and dance. Yeah. Slow yeah. dance. Someone so, to kiss. So Patrice. Someone to miss. <laughs> Daryl's nominated for the worst person. Patrice is nominated for the worst person. Let me uh, say, let me run her up though, let me, Lisa. Yeah. Let me, let me, let me throw this her. out there because mm-hmm. I was going to. You say Daryl because that's an easy way to yeah, go. True, yeah. true. Um, I'm going to say uh, uh, Cleo. He's a, he's a shit person too. He is terrible. Cleo's You're a pushing shit person your daughter too. on somebody that's clearly not good. But for her. here's the thing: in his mind, he's like, bro, I'm. I want my when I when I pass away, I want my my daughter to be taken care of. Mm-hmm. This dude is secure. He has money and finance. A lot of fathers don't think. That deep, they think as deep as as long as she's yeah. provided for it. I, I want to keep her safe. He's not like he, he's not really care, he's not tripping off the. He care never, all, he never he owned asked, McDowell's. Yeah, <laughs> leave her McDowell's. You yeah. already got her. You already got her. True. He set never. Up. She he never asked her. Better than you can. Yeah. yeah. He never asked her if she was happy. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Like you know, terrible. Just mm-hmm. despite despite the fact nah, that, but he, uh, I can't call him shit for that. You can't call him shit for that, baby. I mean, he like okay? he almost was was. It felt as though he'd sell his daughter to the highest bidder. Right. I Until mean, you disrespected his daughter, then he was like, no, hold on now, Jack. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He but was, he, but he still I, had to like, think ass. about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, was like, I, he was like, I'll kick your royal give, ass. Give, uh, <laughs> give Cleo a couple hours. He on the phone. Listen. <laughs> I know what he said. Yeah, I know <laughs> what I said. I know what I said. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't mean it like yeah, that. Let, let, me, let me think about this. He was this. frustrated. Yeah. Let, me, let me get one yeah. of these Jerry curls for one of your lines. It, it, it seemed like he would... It seemed like he would like he would sell his daughter to the highest bidder. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I despite think he would. despite the fact that he knew how Lisa felt about Daryl, mm-hmm. he was still conspiring. Yeah. With with with, well, with Daryl. Who's worse? Him uh, or the Mr. King? Brother uh Mr. McGee Joffrey Joffrey. King Joffrey. They both the same He's person. He's a shit same. person too. Same. Right. Cuz he cuz he was he don't give a fuck about women. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he talked to a woman bad. Mhm. You know what I'm saying? Said nah. mama. I, I'll give I'll give it to uh, if that's the case. It ain't Mister yeah. McDowell. It's, it's it's King Joffrey. It's both of them. Yeah. Nah, because he's worse. Yeah. It's both of them when they're equal. You know what I'm saying? I I, I don't see him disrespecting women, mm-hmm. but like Joffrey didn't give a damn about no mm-hmm. woman. You know what I'm saying? He got chicks barking in, in his son, and they think that's cool. <laughs> you know what he's, 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 he's
With the, with the rose petals? I know, I, mean, I, I do. do. I know, That's I what I'm saying. Yeah, she <laughs> known his wife. Yeah, he's a scumbag. Oh, no. So, so the question is this. So can uh, can the queen be the, the MVP? Because she raised him. The reason why uh, he acts the way he acts is because of his mom. Because of moms. Interesting. Yeah, that's digging deep. And she and <laughs> she had and she had to read on it. Put put a sock in the job yeah, for the boys yeah. in love. The After a while, love. Yeah. she had to let the king. Hey, I gotta shut the king up, baby. Shut up. Yeah, yeah. Relax. I mean, she she peeped that that a king was was was, was in the dungeons at the that's beginning. What, that's what's great about this movie too is I feel like the women in the movie it's 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 like they they play a role mm-hmm. and you think it's just a traditional role. And then next thing you know, it's like, nah, like they're the heads. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or if they're not the heads, they're the neck. Yeah. Right. They're the neck. That turns yeah. the head. Mm-hmm. So it's like, however they're going to say it's going to go, that's how it's going to go. Yeah. She told, she told her son, go get her. Go get her. Go get her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I'm with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and, and his dad and, had to shut up. And she, <laughs> yeah. and she told the dad, like, you know, I thought you was the king. Woo-hoo. You know what I mean? Like we you know when when, when this card. Yeah, she's the MVP. Yeah, press his line. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. She's yeah. the MVP. Hey, the reason why we didn't get to that, well, I didn't get to it so soon, mm-hmm. um, because she's in the background. Yeah, making all the right decisions. Yeah, yeah. pressing all the right buttons. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying like That's a real G, want. like a real G. Yeah, That's you know what I'm saying want. like she's like she ain't got to yell. She's like, hey man, well, aren't you the king? Yeah, yeah. she's leaving little nuggets. Yeah, I thought you were the king. Enough is enough. Be quiet. Yeah, about to go to sleep. You see a note. Mm-hmm. What's this? I thought you were the king. Uh, and she said, she's asleep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she not- <laughs> Last consideration. Let me get up. Is, a, is, <laughs> is Simi a, a bad person? No. Um, no. I, I think he's not a bad, but he's not a good person either. Yeah. Um, I think he, I, I think when it's all said, even if, even if he's supposed to be He's not just uh, Akeem's servant. He's mm-hmm. his friend, too. He's his friend. Yeah, even though he's his job is to do that. Mm-hmm. But, like, he is, he got his back. He'll probably take a bullet for Akeem. You know what I'm saying? So, Despite uh, all that, he would. And really, really, it wasn't like he was trying to take money for himself. Mm-hmm. He was trying to big up the apartment. Yeah. I'm trying to hook the apartment up for us. I'm tired of living like this. Yeah. He, uh, he, he, did, he did kind of sell out the homie, though, to, to Pops. But at that point, but, but, but it's he's a, king. a company it's a king. man. It's the king. He's like, it's, if anybody, it's a king. if I'm gonna sell you out, if anybody I'm gonna sell you out to, to it's gonna be to your daddy. To the king. Yeah. yeah. And 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 essentially he said, like, you know, he's gone quite mad, Your Highness. I he won't know. listen to me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Like, you know, he's on some <laughs> other shit. Mind, he he's on some other shit out here. Helping my friend. He's gone quite <laughs> mad. He's gone <laughs> quite <laughs> mad. If anything, he's probably thinking this is the intervention. Yeah. Yes. I love you enough to say, but you rock you, you fucked yeah. up, bro. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's crazy how you could be look at you could be looked at as a bad guy and really be having all the greatest intentions. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? We don't know. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta ask Sammy, like, what's her intention, bro? Because he he could have left, he could have he could have did this a long time ago. He could have went back and told and think told about the, the, and the king. Well, that, yeah, what, it, it, that's how Ryder died. He was he's bad. Sim- he's the reason why they came and started messing up everything. Yeah, he would have gave Hakeem would have had more time to woo and whine and dine yes. her and tell her because he and, wanted to tell her. Yeah, he could have told her. Yeah, but she heard, the but way she heard he messed when, up the plan. She, she heard, messed yeah. up the plan. Yeah. So he's trash. Yeah. Okay. okay. So who's the worst person in this movie? Do we do we do it's we? The dad's the, the dad. It's the dad. It starts with Joffrey. Him. It's still Joffrey. Yeah. Yeah. King King Joffrey. Joffrey. I'm, I'm going with Amos though. I'm you think Amos is the worst? No way. Yeah. Nah, man. You don't do that to your daughter. Amos man. ain't shit. But but I think. But that but that that can be seen differently. You know what I'm saying? You, that's your it's your interpretation. Yeah, of for sure. What his intentions were, but that's why mm-hmm. you gave him the bad. It's me. But like, yeah, I, I see him. He, he's probably he don't have his wife no more. Mm-hmm. He's probably like, man, he's panicking. Like my my daughters are. I done grown. ripped off McDonald's. Did, she, did they say what happened to the wife? Did she pass away or something? They never mentioned they never, it. We know she had one. Yeah, I'm one guessing one she passed away. She yeah. might have yeah. had two because they. He different. said something about your mother before your mother's pearls or something like that. I I remember he's I remember him saying I just don't want you to have to work as hard as me and your mo- or or struggle yeah, like me and your mother. Yeah, that's what it is. It's fear based. A lot of times you do goofy shit that that, that might have your your kids like damn dad damn mom mm-hmm. what you fuck why are you doing this? Yeah, they f- fearful. They doing right. kind of weird shit. They might mm-hmm. it might seem like they send you off to the highest bidder. Yeah. They they really just don't they don't want to leave this earth not knowing that you're taken care of. Mm-hmm. Hey, it is what it is. You gotta. Work out that work that out with yourself. If you can have you can't be you can't be that that cold hearted man. Yeah, I'm not cold hearted, man. 
I'm if not you could have it, I, I, I rock with uh, Mr. A, uh, Mr. McDowell, yeah, a little bit, just a little yeah. bit. Saying? He loved his daughters, he did for sure. Yeah, you can't you can't love him into into uh, somebody that was that. Did he, Daryl was about to who be did, who upside. Did he, who did he love? Head. Who did he love more? His money or his daughters? Money. His daughters. I thought I felt like he lo- loved money more. He loves money more. Yeah. Because at, at the at, if that's the case, well, he never bucked. He would have never bucked up to um, Joffrey. Now hold on, now Jack. He changed his tune. Yeah, he could have giggled that off, huh? <laughs> Baby, just. Okay. I don't. I don't think. Nah. I don't think it was permanent. <laughs> it wasn't. I know. Nah, I know. Now you speculate. Yeah, I know. I'm speculating. Really going going on what is on screen? Lisa, the man got his own money. When, when I, I say he got, got his own money, money the man got his own money. money. Because it's about because money. In, in one of the final scenes, he was very happy to be there. Yes. Right. <laughs> like you know, after the big reveal. And guess who didn't like him? The mom. Yeah. He looking at her like oh, this thing. Yeah. Yep. Hold on. We First got of all, this package. Once again, I'm gonna go back to that. <laughs> you better not frown your nose about this nigga. Your husband's worse. Your husband. True. Yeah. Your husband. Yeah. Your husband, can, but your husband fucking the husband. bathers. She huh? can control her husband though. And she can control him too. I don't know if she can control him too. Come on now. She yeah. can. He, he's nobody. But would she yeah. want to though? That's the question. When nah, I want to control somebody else, I, 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 I want to control this any, one person. Any person <laughs> you can't criticize me if the person in your life is worse than me. Mm-hmm. I want to. I want to accept it. I think. That um, yeah. What piece of memorabilia would you want from this movie? Oh, oh shit! <laughs> we, talk, we already talked <laughs> yeah, about it. Yeah. Like, we yeah. talked about a lot of stuff. We, like if you, if you could take one piece of memorabilia Damn. from this movie to to have, I want I want that trench coat, my nigga. With the with the love, the, the lion, with the lion, yeah, the, lion. the, the one, the one that Joffrey, the, the, the King Joffrey, had. the lion, yeah. man. <laughs> or with or, the gold emeralds in the mm-hmm. eyes, yeah. Mm-hmm. Or I want that big ass jacuzzi, nigga. In the house, yeah, in the house, in the house. Yeah. Listen, that that furniture changed the way the way homie was talking. Yeah, you <laughs> made in time. Uh, dang, I don't know. I would. I mean, if I can have Lisa McDowell, yeah, I would take her. But uh, shoot, Zamunda, give me Zamunda. Mm-hmm. Give me the whole palace, palace with all the guards and yeah. the rose petal lady. So you basically yeah. want to be a, a prince? Yeah, just, I, I, I mean, I will. I won't be the prince. Mm-hmm. I'll be the king. Yeah, that's. What, I mean, that's. What I'm saying. <laughs> I'll be the king. But you got to be a ready. prince before you got to be a king. Oh no, I'm just going straight to. You princess. can't do that. Mm-hmm. You can't tell me that. This is what I'm. I'm trying to yeah. take. This is my <laughs> <room>. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Okay, so one last little bitty wrinkle. It's obvious how many fists we give this movie. Of course. Right? So I don't even need to call the question. Right. Thousand. But I do want to call the question, does this movie rank in your top five black movies of all time? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's, Are we yeah. saying black movies of all time, black comedies of all time? What are we doing? I mean, black I think movies. I think it's, I think it's easy yeah. for it to be top five black comedies. So right. I'm just saying, like, black you know, movies, yeah. out of... We've watched fifty. Mm-hmm. Is this one of the best five movies that we've watched yes, of yes, the fifty? It, yes. So I'm Absolutely. gonna say because we've talked about me and me and John talk about this a lot, especially about this movie. And this movie is a is a romantic comedy, mm-hmm. rom com. Yep. yep. Yes, it is. I hate that. Mm-hmm. I hate that people call this movie a rom com. Mm-hmm. I I think it's different. I think it has more heart. I think it it's there's there's more grit to it. There's mm-hmm. there's there's a a lot. More uh, meat to this movie, of course. Yeah. Then, but what would you call it then? I don't know. I, I, w- so I would sad. call it a, a a dramedy or something. I like think that. it's a or, but it, it is a dramedy. Or just but a it's, classic. It's more. Is but you can't. You, dramedy is just drama, comedy mm-hmm. for sure. It's romance in this but motherfucker. I get that. It's a love story. A great. But when love somebody story. says romantic comedy, I don't. It's like you think of ten things I hate about you. Yes, you think. But of, that's uh, like a rom com. Yeah. That, that, but I feel like rom com and romantic comedy. They should. It's two separate it's the same things. Thing. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the it's same a, it's thing because it's rom com. It's a nickname. But when you say, "Oh, I'm about to go out to rom com," you think of something. I mean, cheesy. Boom, Boomerang is a rom com. It's the best rom com. We talked about of all this time. too. Yeah. And I, and it's the best of all and time. I hate it. I okay, hate that so for so so if Boomerang is a rom com, also. It's not a rom com. It's a romantic comedy. Let's okay. say that. You have to say the full name. You need them to be in two different things. categories. Oh, yeah, so they're not yeah, rom coms are cheesy. Yeah. To me. I rock I rock with that. Yeah. Um rom coms are cheesy. Mm-hmm. And romantic comedies are boomerang. Uh, and and yeah. uh coming to America. Coming yeah. to America. Okay. And, and this f- is like really this is really a hopeless romantic comedy. Because the man was hopeless. He was hopeless. He, he was, was really hopeless. All first, all I'm going I'm going to flip a coin. I'm gonna uh-huh. flip a coin. And I'm gonna go to a place I've never been to find a wife. 
Yeah. Just of, just off of a of off of, off of the idea mm-hmm. of meeting someone. Yeah, hope. It's, it's it's all it's it's hopeless. Yeah. Any other thoughts? A thousand more thoughts. A, we a billion. Oh, we, we didn't talk man. about Randy Watson. We didn't. That's what I'm saying. We man. have to talk about Randy. Sexual chocolate. <laughs> Sexual chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Why was he so like into what he was singing? <sighs> He, never, he closed his eyes he, and shook his he hips. Was, I think that was... I decided long ago... That was Randy Watson. <laughs> in, 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 in one shadow. This fool Randy if Watson. I, if, if I, I succeed, succeed, you I can't take away my dignity. Because of the way he swirled the mic. <laughs> he hit that note that he didn't hit. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh-huh. It got more confidence. He, that note uh-huh. that he, didn't hit. he backed up and he, said, he got more "Because confidence. the greatest, because <laughs> like, uh-huh. he just did that." Yeah. I Not did that. Yeah. The lack <laughs> because, because the, greatest. the greatest. The lack of self awareness of Randy Watson. Man. Randy Watson cannot read a room. Right, there's never been a person, but then he did. <laughs> he said, like, Reverend Brown. Yeah. He did a he lot of Reverend since I was a little bit of boy and I love him dearly. <laughs> and he kissed him. Like, he said, Nigga, just kiss me, nigga. He said, what happened? What's wrong with you, bro? And that's that's it's, what's like. And sexual uh, Chocolate is probably the worst band. Yeah. Man. It's unenthusiastic. They, they sounded plane. like like a fifth grade band. <laughs> like, you oh, know, all like, them old ass, yeah. drunk ass, uh, wedding, wedding, <sighs> uh, wedding singer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Over this the hill. is, this, okay. Band. So this, this is like an unanswered answerable question but i was thinking like how did randy watson piss all these people off like how come ain't nobody, nobody rocking nobody was fucked they wasn't fuck it, it's, it's, said, not, it's, it's said, not even like because said, oh you, boy because you said, oh boy because you can't be famous for one thing yeah uh-huh that is still today it is still today you cannot be famous for the 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 what's happening the Man, what's joe the, down, joe the what's joe name in, in that uh yeah, episode what's on it? what's my mama what's or my that's mama. my mama See, this is what made me think that, like, that, like, everybody was tired of Randy Watson. You gotta have a body of work because it's <laughs> because it's not like like normally when they introduce somebody that you never heard of, you get an applause. Yeah, yeah. right. The whole crowd did not applaud. Yes, uh-huh. like they knew they know him. They, they know this him. motherfucker. Right, <laughs> like you know, Look, Randy Watson has been going on the church tour. Since that episode, mm-hmm. singing this exact same song, yeah, yeah. like like over him. I just so they said, thinking, like, they why settled. does it? Mm-hmm. They went like this as soon as he got up. Yeah, here we go. Because Boy, the third twenty five is a bullshit. <laughs> because Clarence was like, I'm tired of this motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like, you know, he's not good. Right? <laughs> Which is why he was giving his band a business. Like, you know, like, you must be crazy. Nigga, like, why are you so like it? But then that guy must have seen him enough times mm-hmm. to be like, that boy is good. He good. Yeah, so it just made me wonder, like, how how did Randy Watson piss queens off <laughs> like like this? Like, how many times had he been seen? Or Randy Watson times? used to, he, he used to uh, snatch purses. As yeah, a I think everywhere he goes. <laughs> he turned his life he over bad. as he got older. He, yeah. yeah, he's definitely bad. That's He's what been makes, living in Queens his whole life. Like he yeah. said, Reverend mm-hmm. Brown was my, has been my, yeah. Yeah. My, my reverend since I was a little boy. And yeah. he's, and he's, in, <laughs> a little boy. and Randy must have had that like, I'm a star air about him since he was a little his boy. entire right. life. So he everybody used, is like, he used to go to the church potato salad and mm-hmm. just stick his finger in it and yeah. go, Randy and then been, say, who made this been full of himself <laughs> right. the, yeah. forever. Uh-huh. Let everybody knows like, yeah. Oh shit. Here come Randy. Watts. Still one of yeah. the greatest, still one of the greatest performers, uh, black performers in, in the history of, yeah. uh, of, of, uh, uh, movies. Of history. Yep. Randy. Watson. Nah, <laughs> nah. Yes. Now who's, mm-hmm. uh, who's, uh, it's so many songs, not yeah. so many, but like you got So Glow, so you got glow. It's the Greatest Love of All, mm-hmm. and you got uh, She's Your Queen. <sighs> Who, Oha or Randy Watson? Who's the better performer? Who's the better singer? Oh, man. Oha or Randy Watson? Damn. Oh, that's easy. Oha. You think Oha? Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> who has the question is who has the most confidence? Who has the most stage presence? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's the better artist? <laughs> Randy Watson's the better performer. Randy Watson's, yeah, Randy Watson's the Stage better performer. Presence. Yeah. To Randy Watson, he's mm-hmm. the, the greatest everything. Yeah. 
the movie to to Randy Watson. The movie's about Randy Watson. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> Randy Watson was off stage like we killed that shit. Yeah. You dropped the mic, yeah. not yeah. placed it back yeah. into the stand. You dropped the mic. <laughs> Sexual chocolate. Sexual um, chocolate. Who's your favorite character in the barbershop? Oh man, come Fire. on. He beats Joe Lewis's ass. <laughs> uh, taste the soup. Yeah. <laughs> He'll get the soup. Yeah. This Nigga. is beautiful. What is yeah. this? Velvet? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. King. There's, there's yeah. so many things from this movie that you just pick up from and they just go with you in life. Mm-hmm. I always say that if I see any kind of anything that looks crushed, mm-hmm. velvety, crushed, like any mm-hmm. kind of mm-hmm. leather that's mm-hmm. stra- I'm yeah. like, what is that velvet? Everybody yeah. does it. Yes. I still say, like, mm-hmm. we we were on, we were on tour the whole time on tour. Somebody asked me a question. Mm-hmm. And I would answer it. They'd be like, oh, thanks. And I would go, that'd be $8. Yeah. Yes. I mm-hmm. do that. Yes. Yeah. Just in life. That'd be $8. <laughs> Whenever I do yeah. anything, I've used, that'd be $8. Uh, Randall. His, his mama made him clay. I'm going to clay. clay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've, <laughs> used, I've used that. Mm-hmm. It is the, the, the barbershop is is the is probably so like many one-liners. so many yeah. one-liners, so many like moments. The yeah. man walks in and says, make it nice and neat. Mm-hmm. He says, okay. Snaps the hair in the back. Mm-hmm. Throws it over his shoulder. Yeah. I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. Which is to say you're already it. good. <laughs> yeah. yes. What you have naturally yeah. is already good, which is another message in the movie even, that, even, people that, that people weren't catching. Jewish Eddie. Hey, it's Kuta Kinte. Yes, nigga. <laughs> hey, it's Kuta Kinte. <laughs> and then yeah. you're not laughing. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the barber, yes. And then your boy in the corner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't never cut nobody's hair. Yeah. He ain't never. That barber that's yeah. just uh-huh. always sitting there doing right. nothing. Yeah. Right. You always, always subtly, no always, yeah, always uh, subtly calling out <laughs> Clarence's lies. Yeah. Yeah. You, lie. you, you ain't never met nothing. You know, you you know that's Martin one of uh, Eddie Murphy's friends. Yeah, that's his boy. Yeah. yeah, that's his boy. That, that's one yeah. thing I like about mm-hmm. like about uh like our big stars like that too. Um Martin did the same thing. Mm-hmm. Uh Nipsey was one of his homeboys from high school. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh the other what's another there's another guy. Uh the dude that that would always beat up the Dragonfly Jones. That's oh, another one of his yes. homeboys mm-hmm. from high school. Semi. Yeah. Kenji. Yeah. They Kenji. don't they haven't done anything else. It's just like <laughs> they nope. just bring them they along just for the ride. Them. You guys are here. Yeah, along for the this ride. This is a beautiful buddy. thing. That's yeah. that's that's another reason why uh when you're doing movies, you have to you give people those opportunities yeah, just yeah. so they can yeah. play legendary Show roles. Love. Pay homage you know? to your family and yeah. loved ones. Because it just it's one of the greatest movies ever. I like to I like to stay away from it. So I could appreciate it a little bit more. Yeah. yeah because you watch it like 80 You know, times. you watch it so many times, but, mm-hmm. you know, I've and I've never heard anybody speak ill about it. Right. Yeah, that's start, start a fight. Like, you can't. Yeah. Like, what it's, kind it's, of person? It's, <laughs> yeah, it's untouchable. Yeah. It's, it's crazy because it's like they took all the moments that even moments that would be dry in a regular movie. Mm-hmm. Like, I just had the date of my life. And now it's time to listen to music. Mm-hmm. They usually play music in those parts. No. Nah. Eddie Murphy, you sing and mm-hmm. get on New York's nerves. Yep. Mm-hmm. Loud. Hilarious. Yep. Shut, <laughs> shut up. up. Yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite lines in the movie is don't try that falling down the stair shit. Man, you <laughs> we talked about that the other day. We talked about it the night before that. Yeah. We talked about it yesterday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the, the, this is the funniest thing about that part for me. <laughs> As a kid, because mm-hmm. we I watched that movie, I think I, I had to be like eight or something mm-hmm. like that. I don't know how I'm six, seven. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Either way, as a kid, when I watched that movie, the first time I saw that movie, we we're dying because he farted. Mm-hmm. That's the yeah. shit. That, that's, <laughs> yeah. the, that's, the, that's the shit mm-hmm. that makes you laugh. That's yeah. that's what makes you laugh. That's the older you thing, get, yeah. you start to realize this nigga is really just falling down the stairs because he don't want to pay his <laughs> rent. Avoid paying rent. He's committed. He's committed. To... <laughs> it is not working. Yeah. It's not working. Yeah. Yeah. And then he looks up. He said, I said, fuck that. It farts. That's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, no. How many times has he fallen down the stairs? How many right. times? Yeah, he said it. Yeah. He said, and don't try that falling down the stairs <laughs> shit with me. You conscious. <laughs> Mate, nigga, I know your I know your MO. I know your I know what you're trying oh, to do, bro. Man. It ain't gonna work. And for them, and for oh, and, and think about Simi. Think about Simi oh, in that moment. Man. For them yeah. to sit there, see that. Yeah. And Hakeem's like, yes. Yeah. And Simi's like, yeah. This man just fell down the stairs. Yeah. So he, what, what is going on? So he don't have to pay his rent. I, I would <laughs> try to I, guilt trip the landlord. <laughs> I would pay big money to watch Coming to America from Simi's perspective. Oh yeah. my gosh! To like the like the same story, but from but from Simi's perspective. Right. I feel like that would turn into a psycho. Oh uh, my thriller. god! 
a and psycho would, thriller. And he would want to kill people. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Love it. I would have liked to see a part two to this that actually. I feel like they just missed. Like they just missed. They didn't have to. Too though. much time. Too much you time think so? passed. No, I mean, with with what they end up doing. You got to get a funny ass son. Yeah. And that wasn't it. And this is, we'll, we'll, I'll save it. I'll save it for it coming to America too. Can, can I um, say something? Can I say one happening? thing about that movie that I just didn't like? I didn't like that they missed the, especially in a time like this, they missed a a, a very um, important message, which was be a father to your son. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They just invited this man into the into the. There was no relationship. There was no relationship. Yeah. Yeah. It was just That's going and, and be and be with your sister. It became a lo- uh, yeah, it became a bonding right. love story. Low key. Yeah. And, with, nah, and Eddie they, Murphy's not in the movie. Yeah. We need to see Eddie Murphy. We need to see they Eddie Murphy yeah. being a father. Right. Being a hilarious dad. It this man been... is, Eddie Murphy's mm-hmm. the funniest man alive. I was watching Arsenio and he talked about how he wanted to have. Joe Jackson as a judge on Dancing with the Stars. And I was like, this nigga's a genius. <laughs> right. Like, this man's right. a genius. So right. you're telling me that this man wouldn't be able to to, to play an African father mm-hmm. and kill that role? Yeah. And actually yeah. make us die laughing just from their relationship? I feel like Coming to America. And there, and there are a couple of movies that I feel like are so good at standalones. Any sequel is destined to fail. Mm-hmm. And I think the reason why Coming to America works so well is because it's a classic fish out of water story, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. If any sequel that they do back in Zamunda, the fish is back in the water. No, so I, you know the sun. They did that, though. but that's what they tried to do, it and, it, just, and, it, and it, it just, just failed, that. right? It, yeah, because the characters that we care about, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, like you know that that we want to follow their story mm-hmm. are Akeem, you know mm-hmm. what I mean, like Lisa, mm-hmm. Simi, et cetera, et cetera. So when you wait that much time and then come back and then. Now you're forcing these new characters that I don't know or don't care about, and their their fish out of the water story is not nearly as funny. Right. Um, you don't have um, the city as a as a as a he, character yeah. like New York was. But you in the see original. what they they tried to do. Yeah, that's yeah, what they, they tried. They tried, to do. tried like the they, execution was bad. Yeah. The if you look at Zamunda, it is a place that is extra. Mm-hmm. It is extra to the extreme. It, this is Africa, but it is Africa extra. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like these you got dudes jumping around in gold draws, mm-hmm. like doing flips. They dance, like we said, they, they dance like three minutes, four minutes, or mm-hmm. something like that. Yeah. So they try to do the same thing with this movie, but then put it in a in a landscape of mm-hmm. everything is extra here. Right. That's and what's it's like, so nah. That's what's so interesting. I mean, I've seen Coming to America at least a hundred times. Yeah. I've seen too. the sequel once. Me too. I watched the sequel and we'll, we'll, we'll when it came out. Why. We'll discuss why. We'll yeah. discuss why. Okay. Yeah. And um, I did like Tiana Terry. I'm Taylor very happy to be Taylor. here. Tiana Taylor was a good casting. Yeah. I like when uh, she started. Wesley Snipes did his thing. It, yeah. The movie. The, I, I I don't even mind the actors. Mm-hmm. I wanted Hakeem Sun to be a, a, a different uh, yeah. actor though. I can't um, wait to watch it again. Yeah, I'm about to watch it again so we can talk about it. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe sooner than later because we just did Coming to America. Why not do yeah. part two soon? Um, we'll I'm see. very happy to be here. I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> oh, very happy it is you! <laughs> oh, I can't oh believe my it. goodness! I can't believe it! I can't believe it! I am a loyal citizen of Zamunda. <laughs> yes, for the rest of my life. He was like, for the rest of my life. He took the picture and he was like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> "All right, man, <laughs> I will this, cherish this, this experience for the, for the rest of my life." For the rest of my life. Say it again. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. Uh, the, the, the echo sitting there like this. <laughs> yeah. Yes. With the camera? Yeah. No words. Yeah, no Bruh. words. But he was he was <laughs> Man. That's uh we could talk about this for another hour. I mean yes. um because there's so many scenes that we didn't we did not discuss. Mm-hmm. Um Thief. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, my name is Peaches, and, and I'm, I'm the best. best. All, All the DJs, DJs want to, to fill my breast. Yeah, all that man. There's so many uh, scenes. Bro. Every scene. <laughs> yes. Um. But uh, that's that's coming to America. We didn't do it, but we we're gonna say it. We give it. Oh, I give it five fists. Mm-hmm. Five black fists. Easy peasy. Um, five black. One of the best co- um comedies, dramedies, rom coms, romance comedies mm-hmm. in the game, if not mm-hmm. the best. Uh, so uh, that's it, man. Coming to America. I'm your host, Big J, along with my co-host. Tony Watson. And Tony Watson. <laughs> and the new co-host. Yeah. And the new co-host. 
I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Can <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I, can't, I can't. I can't believe it. <laughs> can you? But thank yeah. you. Thank you for inviting me once again. It had yeah. to happen. And uh, congratulations on fifty. Fifty. Yeah, to man, another 50. fifty more. To another fifty more. Yeah, man. man. Yeah. To, to the bride back. and groom. Yeah. To the bride. See, to the bride and groom. <laughs> to the bride and groom. <laughs> There's so many one-liners, man. <laughs> If you're really a prince, I'll marry you. I'll marry you. Man, it's so many <laughs> lines. This film, this film was great. Um, glad y'all tuned in with us. And um, we'll catch you next looking. time. Yeah. Um, bless her heart. <laughs> man, <laughs> uh, you'll be back before the next 50. Yeah, for sir. sure. Yes, sir. Uh, love y'all, man. Be good or be good at it. We out of here, man. Blackbusters, pew, to the max. Blackbusters.